Welcome back, people. We've got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. We are fishing in Blue Crab Island. We're going to get some... Not that I really need XP, but I do need some insane cash because I... Uh, I don't know if you guys see it, some of you did, some of you might not have done, but um, <laughs> we, I ended up selling my boat yesterday. I sold my boat, the DLC boat, you can always check that video out if anyone's interested why I did that, but I now have, um, what do I have now? I now have the, the bass boat, so that's what I got. I'm just going to get set up. My game's glitching to start off with, so not not great, but I'm pressing all the wrong buttons today. <laughs> I started the stream a little bit later today and that is because I was doing some editing for us to push out another video later on today. to the location I just spawned in and then we'll uh, I'll bring you guys in So we did start off here yesterday, we started fishing in Blue Crab Island yesterday, but I ended up going over to the Maku Maku Lake yesterday because there was an update for it on the XP, so we ended up fishing there, <clears throat> which means I didn't get a chance to fish this place, so I have got an awesome video that I edited though. I edited a really, really, really good video coming tonight. So make sure you guys watch that. change the screen <laughs> forgot to change the screen over all right there we go I'll sit there I was thinking well, there's something that I'm missing yeah the thing that I was missing was to actually show you the screen <laughs> all right anyway Crab Island, we're gonna get some insane fast cash and XP. After me buying that boat yesterday, it did leave me a little bit short. It left me a little little on the short side. <laughs> but I do um, 
I was fishing yesterday actually. I was fishing after I finished the live stream. I was fishing in a random room, room with some people, and there was like ten people in the room, and every single person I was fishing with was really nice. Everyone was, yeah, just everyone. It was. It's nice like that. Some days you get days like that where everyone's really, really nice. As again, boss gamer, good to see you again, man. <clears throat> yeah, every single person was was really good. Sunny, cloudy days. I'm pretty sure the sunny and cloudy days are going to be the days where we, uh, where we get the most. <sighs> yeah, Pop, I haven't seen you come in for a little while. I'm in Blue Crab Island if you want to come and join me. I'm in a friend's room only. Fishing in Willow, <laughs> making the most at them carp, Rob. You ain't got long left now until you until you actually go fishing in real life. Getting close to it. <laughs> I bet you're looking forward to that. So yeah, we hit we hit max level yesterday. We hit level 60. I did a little video of that just so that way you guys. Because I did say I want to do that whilst being live, if not make a video, so. Yeah, I made a video of me hitting level 60 just to show you what we unlock at level 60. <clears throat> but the video tonight. The video tonight, you got to watch that video. I'm, I'm, the video that I'm going to release later on tonight, I'm probably going to do that being live next time, next year. I don't know if I'm going to do it tomorrow, but. The video that I did yesterday, I'm going to do that whilst live streaming. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was really, really fun. So, yeah, make sure you keep an eye out. <clears throat> keep an eye out for that video. Check it out. And then, yeah, at some point, I am going to do that while live streaming. That was pretty good. I did like it. That was fun. <coughs> I don't, know, my, I don't know what my dog's up to. So I could use the bait rod, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to use this one. I have no idea. I added some new music to my playlist. And um, I don't know what that is, but it's not. Yeah, I don't know what that music was. <laughs> I added some random stuff. I had to go through and check it. I just wanted to get some different type of music, but I don't know what that music is. I was meant to take a shave as well. I'd, I'd definitely do that tomorrow. Well, today. The beard is getting a little, little bit on the thick side. This popper. Is all I'm gonna say is the video that I'm I'm gonna release tonight has something to do with this popper. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. I don't want to give too much away. But yeah, the video that the video that I'm gonna release tonight has something to do with this popper. And this popper in Blue Crab Island <laughs> is absolutely awesome. I love this thing. It's the first time me playing it today because obviously I've been editing videos, but yeah, I'm feeling good about fishing today just because that video gave gave me a really good, um, gave me quite quite a good buzz. I really did like it. I'm definitely going to be doing that live at some point. I am. Oh, 
Oh, that's so hot. <clears throat> I gotta keep the lid on, keeping the lid on, because it's like a thermal cup. It keeps it hotter longer, which is good, but it takes. I have to wait longer for it to cool down. Last time I left the cup off, uh, the lid off the cup. I almost needed a new PC. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be doing that again anytime soon in a hurry. Yeah, it spit it spilled right next to my PC. Luckily, I've got the PC raised up about this much off my desk, so I've always done that. Just try and get airflow going. I'm glad that I did do that because otherwise, it was right next to the power supply, and I'm so close to it. My PC probably would have went boom. <laughs> My streaming days would have been over for a little bit. Not permanently, because I would have definitely... I would have got a PC quick, even if it weren't as good as PC as what I got. I would have definitely just, yeah, just got any PC just so I was able to stream again. <laughs> After that happening, it does make me feel like I want to get another computer though as like a backup because if anything if my PC ever did stop working I would still be able to stream because I would be able to use the PS4 but means I'd only be able to stream off the PS4 and that's it and that would suck a little bit so <clears throat> so the update for the PS4 for Fish and Planet there was someone in our chat yesterday, I forgot their name, but they said the update was coming today. And I don't know if it is or not, I haven't bothered to look, and the reason why I haven't bothered to look is because I haven't got the money anyway to buy the, to buy the, um, the DLC to get into the, the new lake. I don't have the cash for that anyway, so even if it is there, there's not really much point me playing it. Uh, you're on your break, are you, Dots? Keep losing the audio in, in this uh, in this headset. Uh, what, you, what, you got paid today, did you? Your money in your account today? You don't get the money to... Oh, okay, your payslip's telling you how much you're going to get paid. <laughs> I told you, man, once you get that first payment, once you get that first payment, that's going to give you so much more motivation, man. Ne never working in your life, and then you finally work, and you get that very first payment. You can pay all your own bills and support yourself. Make you feel like a real man. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you can't wait till Friday. You just want the time to go so quick. <laughs> yeah, nice, man. It's good. Once you get that first payment, that gives you more motivation to to want to keep working, to keep on getting money, man. That's good. It's going to be the most money you've ever had. In one hit, anyway. That's really good. A beer's on you on Friday then, I guess. <laughs> you pop it after work, what, what, today? Or on Friday? Oh, you pop in the stream, oh, okay. All right, man. Still can't get an MD. I'm trying to think what, what MD is. I'm guessing you're saying MD because you don't want to actually say it on the stream, but I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what, what you mean.
That's right. Don't matter. It's all good. Oh, okay. I don't know why I didn't know that. I, I thought you were saying it short as in... You were saying it short because it was something not appropriate. Yeah. That boy loves McDonald's. <laughs> You are able to get a KFC though. KFC are open. You are able to get KFC, so I can imagine him getting KFC or a Subway or something. He'll definitely get. He'll definitely get something. He, yeah, for sure. He is absolutely addicted to, to McDonald's, and McDonald's has been shut for so long. <laughs> it must. It must feel really weird for him. Oh wow, look at that, we're nearly out of large minnows. I am gonna to need to buy more. There we are, there's there's the man, the man of the hour. How's it going, Era? I haven't seen you for a little while, man. I've been wondering where you are, I've been fishing alone. How you doing, man, you, you all good? The weather today, there's no, uh, there's no sun where I am, it's all cloudy, but, whew, it is really, really hot. It is, it is proper hot today. <clears throat> it's nice and hot. Let me just, um, I did tweet on Twitter, didn't I? Let me just check that. Did I tweet on Twitter? Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, I did. These rods are getting a little bit slow today. There we go, there's some interest. <clears throat> I hope I'm not having any string problems because um, I don't know about you guys, but for me it's buffering. Normally it is pretty good. I don't normally get problems while streaming off my PC, but it's showing, showing a bit of buffer going on. Let me just, um, let me change my line one sec, see if that helps. <clears throat> oh wow, okay, error. Uh -huh. I, uh, <sighs> my heart's there for you, man. My heart's there for you. don't know what's going on with my connection today. It's showing buffer. Are you any of you guys getting buffer? I don't know if, it, if it's just me, it's fine. But the streams okay for you. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it looks like I am getting buffer. Honestly, I don't know. Oh wow, beautiful! You gotta love it when it does that. Who was that? FNS farming. Thanks for subscribing. There was someone else who did as well, wasn't there? Who else was that? Um, Peter Marshall. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. There's no buffer, okay. I don't know, it must, ju must just be mine. It must be mine. That's fine though, I don't mind if I've got buffer. The only problem is, is that I don't always hear myself that clear. That's the only, that's the only problem. But, that's all right, I don't mind. It's all good. What's going on with all these subscribers today? <laughs> They're all popping out. Bills, thanks for subscribing, man. Welcome to the channel. All right, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's not buffer. It's buffering for me, but it's not buffering for you guys. So that's that's all that matters. 
I used my mouse yesterday. Oh, keep pressing the wrong button. I used my mouse yesterday while I was playing, and it was it was pretty good actually. I've been so used to using PS playing PS4 using the PS4 controller. Then normally when I play Fishing Planet on PC, I normally use my Xbox controller. But then yesterday I decided to use to use the mouse and the keyboard. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. It's nice for accuracy as well because with the when I use the controller, whether I'm on PS4 or console, it's really hard to try and, for me to try and the sensitivity is a little bit wild. I can't get it. Hold on, that's there you go. Oh, there you go. But yeah, now if I'm doing this with a mouse, look at this with a mouse. With the mouse, it's so much more precise. <clears throat> that makes me want to use the mouse more. Makes me want to even put the mouse into the into the console as well. <laughs> it really is is a lot better. It is really good. I'm guessing this coffee's still going to be hot. Oh yeah, that's well hot. I want to take the lid off, but the new rule is. When I'm sitting at my desk, I don't leave any bottles undone anymore. I always said I didn't mind doing that because I never ever knocked it, but that one day I did. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that again. My PC costs too much money. It costs too much money for me to take that risk. Ah, right, we got some interest there. Go back out again. Nothing happens, and then they all they all hit at the same time. I'm guessing this one's a snook. Or oh, yeah, okay. Got to be quick, just because I don't want to lose this one. Gonna need to buy more large minnows. I'm gonna need to buy more. I spent a serious amount of cash yesterday. On buying that boat but look at that though I think after doing that boat video I ended up with like 29,000 uh, 29,000 290 something thousand so nearly 300 then I ended up getting to 438 that's not bad I did buy a lot of bait as well and I did buy a few other things so pretty good pretty good this is one good thing about a controller. Whether you're on PC or console, you can spam to buy really fast. Rather than, this is the only one disadvantage of using a mouse. You click it, then you have to click, click, close, click, close. Can't do it nowhere near as quick. So the mouse does have its good points because it is definitely more precise on casting, but not so good when you're buying a ton of bait. Not so good at all. But definitely, it's not the best day, our first day fishing. Definitely not the best days fishing. It's not too bad. We got 238 pound in our net within the first hour in game time, but we have definitely had a lot, lot more than that. So, not our best days fishing, but probably not our worst either. So, about average. Whoa! <laughs> Almost 2k large minnows. I went into, I don't know if you've seen it, but I went back into Maku Maku Lake and uh, I went to buy large minnows in there and they were like 1,000, 1,400 and something. And yet last time I brought them when I was in there, they were like 500 and something. They've almost, 
They've almost took them up three times the amount of cash. That's a little bit. That's a little bit silly. Right, we're going to jump next day. That's why we sold the boat. So we're able to... So we are able to... I should have showed you the XP and cash there. That's why we sold the boat though. We sold the DLC boat because of that reason. We needed bait coins. I didn't have cash. I buy bait coins with my real money. Michael, thanks for subscribing. We've had a lot of people subscribing through this stream. I don't know. We haven't even been streaming long. That's awesome. We're going to make a nice community of Fishing Planet. I like it. You brought them there when they were cheap. I should have done that, man. You, you, you were smart. I should have done that. I don't know why I didn't. I should have done that. Alright, let's see if we get a better day's fishing. It did used to be, when I used to fish this spot, it did used to be the sunny days were the better days. But now it seems like the cloudy days are the better days. But if I, if I, if I remember correctly, I think the sunny days were better me using the popper. But the cloudy days were better for the bait. I think that's the way it was, so we'll, well, we're about to find out, I guess. Yeah, so I made a video, if you didn't see it, I, tell, I would tell you a little bit about it. I did say you can watch it, but I'll tell you a bit about it just in case you haven't seen it. I brought the DLC pack for Blue Crab Island a little while ago, when it first came out. Anytime them updates come out for Fishing Planet, we try and push them updates to you as fast as we can so the update came out for fishing planet for me i think it was about 1 30 a.m in the morning i brought the dlc and whilst it was downloading started up a stream to show to show this new lake we did the well we basically did the same thing but it wasn't 1 30 in the morning for the maku lake <laughs> which was a little bit better but when these new updates come out, I stay awake for like three or four nights in a row, making hot spots, showing hot spots, new fish, uh, tips and trick videos, missions in them lakes, all of that kind of stuff. And when I live stream, it's completely different to a video. When I live stream, I can make a quick edit and make it look like that I'm catching that fish faster. So that way it, the video don't go on too long. But when, when I'm live streaming, I want to keep catching those fish at a fast pace because if I don't, that does two things. <clears throat> it makes it boring for me and it makes it boring for you guys. It's, I don't look at it as it's good content. So when it slows down and it ain't a very good day or if it's a rainy day and it's not very good fishing on that day, I will then use a bait coin to jump forward. And I keep spending my own real money out of my own pocket buying these a lot of bait coins. I'm kind of scared to think of how much money I've spent doing that. <laughs> but because I've done that so much, buying DLCs and stuff, my cash flow is a little bit on the low side. So what I did was I brought the bass boat out of my money that I catch from catching these fish, which is this boat here. If you haven't seen the video, this is the boat that I brought. I had, I think it was close to about 800,000 cash, and that cost nearly 400,000. So I brought that from the cash that I got from the game. And then I sold my, I sold my DLC boat. That is so loud. I sold my DLC boat so I could get bait coins. So that way I didn't have to spend my own real money out of my own pocket. In real, real money in real life. So that way I don't have to spend my own money buying bait coins for a little while. Because I'm a little short on the cash, me selling that, I can sell the DLC boat for... It was like 400 cent bait coins, but I repaired the boat. After I repaired it, it gave me like 500 and some... Yeah, 500 bait coins for selling that. So, yeah. It gave me 500 bait coins, I sold that. 500 bait coins is going to last me a short little minute. Look at that. I got 591 at the at the minute. So, 
not bad. I did have over 600 because of doing some missions, but me playing yesterday, I did skip forward a little bit. I, I It's not very often I do skip forward when I'm not live streaming, but every now and again I do. If it gets if it gets ridiculously too slow, then I do. The one thing that I've noticed about this game, it shouldn't, my music stopped. It shouldn't take too long to catch. And if it does take too long to catch, then something somewhere is not right. That's one thing that I've noticed about this game. If I'm not catching fast, I'm either not in the right spot, I'm not using the right hook, or the right bait, or it could even be could even be something to do with my line as well. The line could be too thick or the wrong colour. <laughs> Alright, I want to try and see if I could use that popper a little more. Just because we're on the sunny day. I definitely know that for, for the unique tarpon will be the cloudy day. Using bait rods, I know that, but I'm pretty sure it was. Pretty sure we did have some uniques using the popper though on a sunny day. So that's why I wanna try and use it if I get a chance to, that is. <clears throat> Are you still here with us, Era? See if we can get anything with this popper. If we don't, and then I know just the cloudy days are going to be the main days. I definitely know the cloudy day is the is the way to fish to get fast in saying XP. As I say, I'm not really after the XP at this point because we are now max level, but I am after cash. And if I fish cloudy days, and we get a lot of that. A lot of them are uh, uniques. We're going to get some cash really, really quick. I'm glad that that started to do something because I was going to be impatient and jump to the next day. I might just stick to the cloudy days when I'm... If I'm trying to farm like crazy, I might just stick to cloudy days. It is going to obviously burn some of my gold coins, but that's exactly why I sold that boat. So that way I've got bait coins to keep jumping forward, to keep... Keep it entertaining. There you go, they're all gonna go now. But me selling that boat, it wasn't wasn't all bad. It was kinda of, I was kinda of sad to see it go and I was thinking about it a little bit last night, I gotta be honest. <laughs> I was thinking that was a that was the best boat of the game and I just sold it for bait coins. Like why did I do that? But I did have the bass boat once before. And the bass boat was, I do know there wasn't a lot of difference between the bass boat, between this boat and between the best boat, the Gary Scott. There's not a lot of difference in it. Other than the bass, the Gary Scott boat can do around about 52 mile an hour. This one can do, I think 46, 46 miles an hour. So there's not a lot of difference in the speed. I'm not going to get on the... Actually, I can. I might, I might, yeah, that's all right. Let me quickly get on it. So on the on the other boat, you've got the fish finder there. I control on this boat the same as I can on the Gary Scott. And we got a fish finder there as well. The, again, the same, as, the same as the Gary Scott. So there's not a lot of difference between that boat and the other boat. There's not a lot of difference. And by me selling that other boat... That saved me about £20. That's not much, but as I say, my cash flow is kind of low at the minute. And that saved me that saved me £20. And that £20 will get me quite a weight. That will probably last me them 590 bait coins that I got. That probably lasts anything from minimum of two weeks, three to three weeks, even a month possibly. It does depend on how much I'm fishing, obviously. That's going to 
that's going to make a difference. No, we definitely don't want to fish them rainy days. That's why you need bait coins. If you obviously, if you wasn't live streaming, you wouldn't really need to jump forward. You could just stick it out and wait until you're able to jump, jump forward, and it not cost you a bait coin. You can do that. But because I'm live, if I do that, it's going to be a slow drag. It will be very, yeah, it'll be a very, very slow pace of catching. You can also use the float rod as well. I might actually do that, use the float rod. The float rod wasn't too bad. By using the float rod, the one good thing about it is that I can pull the fish in from such a far distance, which is really good. With the heavy chaser, I got to I got to reel it in really, really close. But with using this rod, I don't need to. I can pull it in. He would just kind of grab it out of the air at around about 20 odd feet. So them float rods are good. And them float rods do hold these tarpon as well. I don't think I've had a massive, massive tarpon using the float rod. But then that is because I've only got one. And because I also don't use it that much as well. So that's obviously going to have play a good part in it. So this one's permit. I'm going to make some serious money this stream. Nice shirt. <laughs> you can't really see my top, man. You can't really, you can't, you can't really see. You can see my top now, like that. Hey, Trippy, it's been a while, man. I was looking for you, Trippy. I was looking to see if you was on Steam. I was gonna, I was gonna do a live stream of GTA, and I was gonna do like some kind of stunt race. Or something and then try and try and see if I could get loads of people to come and join I really wanted to do some GTA doing some of those stunt races I was looking for you when I started my stream but yeah you weren't there shame you can you can see it a bit my chair won't go any oh well my chair won't go any higher I don't know why and um, I can't adjust my camera too much because behind me is a load of rubbish. <laughs> yeah, I, like if I move the camera down, you probably could see my top a little bit more, but that's all right. Oh, you, oh, you did. Okay, yeah, sl snow run is good, man. Snow run is good. I really did. I really did like playing a bit of Snow Runner. That was that was pretty good. We played that with Big Man. You had the PC off. There's still time though, right? Oh well, I'm, I can't really do it now, but because obviously I'm playing this, I could, I could start the game up, but YouTube don't like it when I. If you start streaming one game and then you start. Halfway through that stream, you then start streaming something else. YouTube don't like that. YouTube are not a big fan of you doing that, so. But if you're around tomorrow, when I when I set up a stream tomorrow, if you're around tomorrow, maybe we can play some GTA Live stump races. See if we can try and get a few other people to come in and join as well. That'd be pretty awesome. Try and get a few subscribers to come in and join us. That'd be good fun. I don't really use Discord very much, Trip. Do you? Do you? Uh, do you have Twitter or or Instagram by any chance? You're always online on Discord. Yeah, I don't really use Discord. But it's very rare I go on there. I literally only use Discord for you and BR. Only Facebook.
I haven't seen BR for a while neither. I haven't even spoke to him. Have you heard from him? I did message him a little while back, but I haven't heard anything back from him. I don't know where he is. I have no idea where he is. Right, so, so far, this is a good day. So far. Hopefully it stays like this. It's 520 and we got 122 in the net. That's pretty good. Look how much the float moves. I didn't actually know why the float moved that much. I thought it was the movement of the water or something but someone told me the other day the reason why that float moves like that I don't know if this is true alright this is just what they said so I could sound silly by saying it but they did say when the float moves around like that it's uh, it's live bait moving moving it around look how far I, I pull this fish in from 20 foot look I bring it pull it in from that far out that's why it is good using this float rod The, uh, did you, have you brought the DLC, you can buy a DLC truck on SnowRunner. I think it was one pound, no, about one pound 79, something like that, something silly. It wasn't very much. And that was a really good truck. The truck that I, I'm using at the minute, I'm using this big yellow truck. I found it. Well, I say I found it. Big man found it for me. And that is a really, really good truck. He's out at the moment. I was gonna, I was thinking of doing a live stream with SnowRunner, but yeah, he. Um, I was gonna do GTA at first, and then Trippy weren't on, and then I thought, okay, so I do, I maybe do some SnowRunner with Big Man, and then Big Man's gone out because it's so nice out today. So I'm kind of just left. Left by myself. <laughs> I don't mind though. I enjoy this game. I need to get some serious cash back. After. That's a good size. Don't think it's unique. No. It looked bigger than that. But yeah. After set, after buying that boat. And buying a few other bits and pieces. I definitely need. I need that cash. I need that cash back quick. On your girlfriend Xbox, yeah, I did read that. Yeah, yeah, on your girlfriend's Xbox, Snow Runner. It's on Xbox, PS4, and and it's on PC as well. It's pretty good. That looks like a good tarpon. Is that tarpon? It might not even be tarpon actually. Oh, it is tarpon, but it had so much more. It had so much more fight at the beginning than that last little bit. It was just like. Phew. And that's why, because it was a small fish. <laughs> All right, come on! I want to try and use this one. I have this. I really, really enjoy using this. I really enjoy using this popper. This popper is awesome. Absolutely love this popper. That is a bit crazy though. I sold a DLC boat. That is a little bit crazy. I did that before. Because I needed bait coins. I ended up selling the... What was it? Um, a kayak. I bought the Red Dragon pack DLC. And again, bait coins, I only use the bait coins just for jumping days forward I don't ever it's very rare that I spend bait coins on anything else saying that I did I think it was about a week ago I did buy some barbless hooks using bait coins but they ain't very much though they don't cost much at all I think it was like about eight ten gold coins but I always use gold coins for jumping days forward I'm glad I did do some of the missions. We've got 588 coins left. I'm glad I did do some of the missions. One, because 
you guys what kept on requesting me to do different missions in different lakes. We've done all the new lake missions. So I wanted to do some of the other ones and didn't know which ones to do. And some of you suggested Weeping Willow, so we did that. Some of you also suggested another lake. We got more of those videos to come. I gotta edit those. But yeah, we've, we've been keeping busy moving around and doing them different missions. It's good because it shows you guys how to do the mission, but it's also good for me as well because I get the odd bait coin out of it. Not much, but I get a little bit of bait coin. I need as many bait coins as I can have. The Fisherman's Fishing Planet, on there you can get a serious amount of bait coins. Like some people say that they got so many bait coins, they, they're at the point where they don't even know what to do with it. But on here, it is a little bit of a struggle. I remember many, many years ago, <laughs> you used to be able to get gold coins for catching uniques at this at, on any place that you was fishing. If, as long as you got a unique, instead of giving you cash, it would give you a gold coin. Not one gold coin, like it would give you a certain amount of gold coins. What, did it give you a certain amount, or was it one? I can't remember. I don't know. It was a while ago, I forgot, but... Yeah, it gave you bait coins. The good old days. And now... I spend my own money buying them. I wish there was an easier way... Well, not an easier, but I wish there was more ways to to get those bait coins because once all those missions run out like there's no other way for me to try and get bait coins after than that I've caught you can obviously you can do d the different missions to catch a certain amount of fish certain fish I've done a lot of that already they've got no audio in my ear Oh, looks like we got some interest there. Or maybe it's gone now. Oh no, maybe it's back. Where are all them big fish at today? Where are all them big fish at? I don't mind that we're not catching insanely massive fish. But, uh, uh, they're hiding. They're hiding. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind if we don't catch them massive fish because we're still earning some serious money pretty fast. And XP as well. It's silly that I feel like... It's silly that I feel like I have to have premium when playing. I'm level 60. I can't go any higher in level. But yeah, I don't like playing the game without not having premium. Why do I still have no audio? I don't know what's going on with that. <clears throat> yeah, I, I just don't like I don't like fishing without premium. Fishing without premium is um, obviously you don't get as much XP and you don't get as much cash. And I always always gonna need that cash because to make that good content, I need I need to have cash to buy the new rods and stuff. This coronavirus has made me feel the squeeze a little bit, I'm going to be honest. I think it has to many people. You'd never spend any, <laughs> any real money on a free game. I, I do enjoy this game though, man. So, that's why I don't mind spending money on it. But, yeah, it's... You could play this game. You really could play this game without spending any money at all. And you would still be able to have very, very good stuff. Like the, these rods, these heavy chasers, they're not real money. They're money that you get from catching the fish. The float rod is the same. The rod that I've got, I've paid real money for. But you can buy this rod from the money that you get from catching the fish. So you can actually get some good stuff. Same as the rod stand. That's money from the fish. 
my rod bag, my my net, all of that stuff is money from the fish. So you can technically you can play the game without spending any money, but I have to spend money on the game to make that content good. I, ha I don't really have a choice. I have to spend money to show good content, but I also have to spend money for for me to enjoy it as well. So it's a bit of it's not just for the stream. I am doing the bait coins, me buying, spending my real money on bait coins. That is for the stream, definitely. But when it comes to DLCs and stuff and new lakes, that's more me spending my own money because it's something that I do actually like. So, And as well as I like it, obviously the stream likes it. So again, it's good. It makes good content. <laughs> it really does. Let's put the squeeze on everyone. Yeah, it has, man. It really does. There is always someone worse than you. That's very correct, man. You throw my own words to me. <laughs> that makes me... Re that, that, yeah, that gives me a reminder. There is always someone out there. Even though I'm feeling the squeeze on cash, there is always someone out there who's... There's someone out there who's in a worse position than me. How's it going, Dominic? Good to see you back again, man. I can afford coffee anyway. Well, at least I make coffee in my own house. So that's the most important thing, I guess. Coffee, internet, electricity, <laughs> food for my dog, food for my kids, and then anything else don't, don't really matter too much. <laughs> well, that come like flying in, in his face. Yep, the fact that you had a roof. There was a stage in my life where I didn't have a roof, man, for about three years, four years, for a while. Yeah. <clears throat> I did. It's not something I like to say, because it's, it's not something I'm proud of, and it's not something to really talk about that's good, but... I was homeless for a few years, man. I was. So, when I see people that are homeless on the street... I look at them, I know that that was me one, at one point. Some people are homeless because they bring it to themselves, but that's not always the case, and it really isn't. Some people are homeless because they just, they're just homeless, they just don't have a home. And it's, it's sad that it's like that, it really is. I know that struggle. I was there once. There was, look, at, look at me now, I'm sitting here with a controller in my hand, a PC, two monitors, a dog, and I got a roof over my head. But yet, going back many years ago, many, many years ago, there was a point where I was sleeping on the streets, man. I was sleeping on the streets. I was sleeping sleeping on the beach. I wouldn't say I'm rich now. Definitely not. But I have a home, so that's the main thing. But yeah, when I, when I do see people... When I do see people sleeping on the street, it does make me, it does make me feel for them. I know, I know that struggle. It's not, it's not nice. Do I use the dinghy for my boat now? I use the dinghy when you're messing around trolling, especially in Blue Crab Island. If I'm coming to Blue Crab, if I'm coming to Blue Crab Island and I want to troll around. I want to, it, it is really good fun catching catching fish while trolling around on a on a on a boat. I feel like the dinghy is the best boat for that. Me making that video as well. I'm glad that I did make it because loads of people kept saying to me about how do you how do you troll on a boat? But the dinghy is the way. You you are okay. The buzz bait. Do you use the do you use the dinghy to troll though? How do you how do you do it? I feel like trolling off the bass boat with a Gary Scott boat. You can't troll properly. Not the way. Not the way you can with a dinghy. With a dinghy, you can put the boat at one percent. As I say, I did make a video on it, but I put a I put it at one percent. Turned around, cast my my rod out, and just wait for Sank to hit it. And Blue Crab Island is a perfect place to do that because there's a lot of straight. There's a lot, a lot of straight. If you walk back, look at that. You can pull it right up to there. That's pro tips right there. Look at that. That's how you do it. 
I'll tell you, bring in a fish real quick. <laughs> that one's permit. So I'm not too bothered about that one. As we are going for cash, we need the tarpon more than anything. I like this new way of fishing. That's permit as well. That fish is gone. That's a good way to do it. <laughs> you use the first, yeah, the first motorboat. Yeah, the first motorboat's fine, yeah. Yeah, using the, the very, very first motorboat and the dinghy for trolling, perfect. But for using the bass boat or using the Gary Scott boat, yeah, trolling to me, dumb, it's not the same. Because when you're on the bass boat, you stand at the front of it. Same as the Gary Scott boat, you're standing on the front. And you're moving the, the, the boat around like that. Like it, does, it will work. You could troll like that. You definitely could. You could cast your rod out and keep putting the boat in reverse. You could, but I, I definitely love trolling on the dinghy. On the dinghy is awesome, man. But the very first boat, that's pretty much the same as the dinghy anyway. It's not a very, very fast boat. And even though it's not a fast boat, it's still able, you're still able to, to troll with it. So that's really good. Don't forget, if you guys are enjoying the stream, to drop a like. lets us know that you are enjoying Fishing Planet. So that's pretty fast going so far. We're at 5.15 on a sunny day. And we've got £158 in our net. As long as it carries on at that speed, and then it's going to be a good day's fishing. It's going to be a good day. You don't have to use the hook barbless as well. I'm using barbless hooks just to try and get that little bit more XP. That one's not barbless hook. Let's change that one. So you could use the 6 or the 9. They both work. I use a bit of both. I use some 6, some 9. I only put on the nine just to try and separate some of those smaller fish and then hopefully try and get that bigger fish. And I always use the six as well because the six is kind of like an optimal hook that kind of works quite a lot. Okay, so that one's not barbless as well. Let's put that to barbless. And actually, it don't really matter too much because I don't, I'm not, it's not the XP that I need, is it? It's cash. I know the barbless hooks makes a difference in your XP, but I don't think it makes any difference in how much cash you're going to get. Yeah. I like that boat. I remember when I very, very first brought this boat. And the, the very first time I brought it, this, this make, showing a video of this boat when I very first brought it was the most popular video on my YouTube. And I don't know why, it was just me... I think it was because other people were trying to make a decision on whether to buy it, whether it was a good boat. But when that boat very first came out, I made a video on it. And that video got like 27,000 views. That is absolutely insane. I didn't think that... That's kind of what made me want to stream Fishing Planet more. I thought that not many people that were really that interested in this game. So that's why I didn't start streaming this game a long time before now. 27,000 views on just showing a boat in Fishing Planet. That's insane. Absolutely insane. You're going to make a sandwich? Make a tuna one. Tuna or egg? <laughs> the only thing I like about the Fisherman's Fishing Planet is that you have a rod holders and you want to troll. I heard people say that, yeah. That you are able to put the rod on the boat. I also heard that somebody said that you can actually allow other people to get on the boat with you as well. So, that's pretty cool. If you can do that. I've been streaming for an hour. I made my coffee before I started the stream. And the coffee is just starting to cool down now. That's a good cup. It keeps, keeps it hot for a long time. It's not warm. It is still a little hot. And I do have, even though I've got the lid on, I've got the little bit open where I can drink from. So if I kept that closed, that would keep my that would keep my drink hot for at least three hours, I would have thought. 
No, so so far we're doing good. We're at 527, 192 pounds in the net. That's a decent amount in such a short time. I still haven't seen those uniques yet. I don't know where they're hiding today. Some days when I play this game, I get so many uniques, it's insane. Like, it's ridiculous how many I can pull out. But then sometimes, I only get two or three throughout the whole time of me fishing. And I don't know why. I think it is just, like, just luck more than anything. The Amazon come out on PS4, did it? Yeah, there was talks that people were saying that it was going to be coming coming out today on PS4, yeah. The place looks amazing, man. Looks really good. If you've never fished there, it looks really good. But the XP, it's not the best. The cash is pretty decent. The XP is not so good. But it looks amazing though. I've done a lot of tips and trick videos for that place. I fish there quite a bit. How's it going, Ryan? You love this game? Me too, man. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is on there. It could be tarpon. Oh, it is tarpon. It's not very often I get tarpon on this float rod, as I say, just because I don't really use it that much. I don't know why I don't, because it is a good rod. That's not going anywhere. You sold your PlayStation? Oh, man. That's not good. A man without games... Or even a w some women as well. Some women are proper into games. I couldn't imagine my life without not playing computer, computer games. Whether I'm playing PC or Xbox or PS4. I couldn't imagine not playing games. Not just because I like, obviously I'm streaming. Not just because of that, but... Can I help you? How... how <laughs> How can I help you? In what way? Oh wow, this is definitely a good tarpon on here. That's definitely a good tarpon. I don't honestly think that I've caught an insane tarpon on the float rod, as I say, just because I haven't used it that much. So this could be the, this could be the first time I've got a good tarpon on the float rod. I hear my other rods going in the background. There's nothing I can do. It's definitely a good size though. How am I going to help you with that? <laughs> How am I going to help you? There's nothing I can do to help you, man, unfortunately. If I could help you, I would. But there's no, there's nothing that I can do that's going to help you. Other than for me to say, try save your money. Try save your money and buy it. If you really like playing games, save up your cash and buy another one. Alright, so there we go. Unique. The XP... For that, £124. Not a very big fish, but definitely a lot more XP than fishing in Maku Maku Lake, that's for sure. The cash, you can probably get more cash from the other place, but if you want the XP, this is the place. And the cash, I probably could get more cash at this place because I catch a lot faster. That is the best boat, yeah. I, brought the, I sold the DLC boat yesterday. I made a video on that. Kind of broke my heart a little. <laughs> But um, I sold the DLC boat because I was, in real life, I spent money on this game buying bait coins. 
and I had I have no money left. I'm a little bit short on cash in real life, so I ended up selling the the Gary Scott boat, the best boat. I sold that so that way I get bait coins. So that way when I'm live streaming, the days that are, are rubbish for fishing, like the rainy days, means that I can jump jump days forwards by using the bait coin. Me selling that boat gave me around about twenty pounds worth of real money. Gave me about twenty pounds worth of of bait coins. So that was twenty pounds that I didn't have. So that was good. That was good. <clears throat> go on the bass boat. I need it, for me to go on there. Because I'm not going to earn as much XP. The XP I'm not really after, but I am after cash. The quickest way for me to earn money and to earn XP in Blue Crab is to be set up here at this location. Use bait rods, as many bait rods as I can, which is either four or five, one in my hand as well. Or put four bait rods out and, and then use a spinning rod. I need to get... I need to get that cash. I need lots of cash just because if another update comes out, I'm going to need to buy all the new stuff. And for me to bring that, that content showing new stuff all the time, I always need a lot of money on the game. I need, I need a lot of cash. And I, if I get enough money now, if another update drops... Then it'll, I won't be too, but it'll, it'll be alright. We got 400 and... Yeah, okay. 443. I got a long way to go. I definitely need more. Look how much that float's moving. That shouting in the background is kids outside playing. I'm really sorry about that. There's not much I can do about it. It's a beautiful day outside. I live on, I live on the seafront. I'm literally right in front of the seafront, so there's loads of kids outside playing. There's nothing I can do about that. They're having a good time. You liked and subscribed? Welcome to the channel, man. Ham, cheese, and Brentston pickle. Oh, gosh, no way. You started off good by saying ham and cheese, but not the pickle, man. No way, not the pickle. Gosh, not the not the pickle. You only got fifty thousand dollars. If you're able to get into Blue Crab Island, man, what level are you at? If you're able to get into Blue Crab Island, you can make some so much money here. You're crying, you're sad, Ryan. If you like gaming that much, man, save your money. You'll be able to get one again. Think of ways to earn money. Do little jobs. Ask your mum if she's got some jobs or something for you to do, or your dad, or a family member. Ask if they've got got some kind of job for for you to do to earn some money, so you're able to buy a, buy another PS4 or PC or Xbox, whatever you're into. Oh yeah, he did say PS4, didn't you? Mmm, so good. No, Trippy. No, the ham and cheese. Yeah, I don't mind that. That sounds pretty decent. But um. Rank fifty five. Level, okay. 55, rank 1. Alright. I, I didn't read that right. Come in here in Blue Crab, man. Fish this location. Make sure you use mono leaders if you're catching tarpon, just to throw that out there. I did actually make a separate video on how to catch tarpon insanely fast. So you can always check out that, or if not, just throw on some mono leaders and come here and fish. You'll make some serious, serious money. Like, I've... I brought that bass boat yesterday. It cost four, nearly 400,000 cash. And now I've got over 400,000 cash again. So, it goes to show. This place earns insane, insane money, man. Absolutely insane. This place is the best place. I don't know what is going on with Nightbot. Why did that time, time Ryan out for? Let's see. Are you are you serious? <laughs> Nightbot is a little strict here sometimes.
I have no idea why Nightbot timed him out. It just does it to some people sometimes. I don't know why. It just does it. He used to do it to Dots a lot. Anytime Dots would put a message in the, in the chat, it would always time him out. It, it just didn't, didn't like him. Yeah, the Nightbot is, um, that's not me doing that rhyme. Nightbot is like an, a robot that basically keeps your chat safe from spam, cap, caps, um, emojis, that kind of stuff. Any bad language. Nightbot is not, is not actually me doing it or someone else doing it. It's like a robot. Flounder, man. I've caught the unique, sh the unique shed, but the flounder is the flower. Flounder takes skill, it takes real skill. It is hard work. The flounder, you can catch it down this way, just down there, where that little tree thing is there. Cast there late at night, and you can get some flounder. I've had so, so many trophies, but no. No unique of the flounder, and I just I I wanted to make good content, and how long it takes me to try and catch that flounder, I could make two, three, four videos within that time. That's no exaggeration. Probably more than that. It is the flounder is really hard to get as unique anyway. To catch flounder is easy, but as unique, it is a, it is a pain. Uh, I fished here quite a lot. I've also fished the new lake. We fish some of the other lakes and like missions and stuff. We've shown missions and anytime there is updates for Fishing Planet, I'm live streaming straight away, always showing new DLCs and stuff. So I've pretty much fished every single place. I just wanted to fish here at Blue Crab today because... I'm not after XP because I am now max level, but I am after cash. After buying that bass boat, it has made me a little short. But the bass boat is awesome though. It sucks that I had to sell my DLC boat just to get bait coins because I didn't have money to buy bait coins. That sucks, but it's not a bad boat though. I do like it. It's a nice boat. At least it's still got a fish finder on it. And at least... Uh, I, d I did own that boat once before though, so I knew that it was... I knew that it was an okay boat. I knew it was a good boat. That was, yeah, when that when that boat very first come out, I had the money to buy it, I brought it straight away. And that's what I'm doing now, I'm earning enough cash, a, a silly amount of money, so that way when the next update comes out, there's a DLC, I could buy the DLC, but there is some things that the DLC doesn't throw in when they put out new updates. Some things you have to spend your in-game money. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm getting on the grind, earning my in-game money. So that way when new updates come out again, I'm going to have enough cash to buy all the new stuff and head to new lakes and keep that content good. There's only permit. Oh, them kids are so loud. It doesn't help that I've got my windows open. I have to keep my windows open though because it's so hot today. I could plug in my fan and close close the windows, but I don't have air conditioning. <laughs> I don't have air conditioning, so I have to, yeah, put on a fan, close the windows. I don't want to do that. I've got to have at least a little bit of fresh air. It doesn't feel like there's any air. As you can see behind me, the window there. The wi both of the windows are open, and yet my blinds ain't moving at all. They're not moving a bit. You brought the blue crab boat. It's a good boat, man. That Gary Scott. Love that boat. <laughs> I wonder what you're talking about there, Trippy. 
<laughs> you did have me a little confused for a moment. If you're not doing nothing today after I finish, after I finish the uh, stream, if you want trip, I'm up for playing some GTA if you're around. Look at that, one hour, 16 minutes. I got a lid on my cup and I got the little bit open and yet my coffee's still hot. And I made it before I started streaming. So for about an hour and 30 minutes, if I kept that the little bit closed, that would last for a long time. It's 10.52 for you. Is that in the morning or at night time? For me right now, it is 5 to 4. And that's PM. Alright, well that was a pretty good day's fishing if you ask me. We got 581 pound in on it, and it's at 6, 6.32 a.m. So that was, that was a good amount. Yeah, these, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I can see your messages, Trippy, yeah. When I, when I very, very first started up the stream, for some reason I kept on, I kept on saying my, my stream was um, having connection issues. I don't know why. I asked everybody else in chat at the time, and they said that it was fine. But on my connection, it was showing it was showing that I was buffering. I don't know why. It is normally pretty good. When I stream off PC, I don't normally have any connection issues. Not normally. That was a really good day's fishing though, in such a short short time. We got a good amount there. Alright, we'll jump to the next day, just so that way we keep it entertaining and we keep on catching. This is where I spend my real money right now. These bait coins. Okay, so these cloudy days, sunny cloudy day, never used to be that great. We would catch, but it wouldn't be that great. But since they did do that patch update in this place, oh, the sunny and cloudy day can actually even be better than the sunny day sometimes. So I know that I can now fish sunny days, sunny and cloudy days, but don't bother with a rainy day. <laughs> you can fish the rainy days. The rainy days do actually look really, really nice. Like seeing the rain hit the water and... Yeah, it does look really good, but you catch terribly, terribly slow. Like insanely slow. The pace is unreal. I can't I can't I can't do it. <laughs> when you're fishing in that new Maku Lake, that is the fishing pace it is pretty fast. Spinning works really well. Bait works really well. Um yeah, you can catch there at a pretty fast pace, but my night bot's getting a little bit over the top. Um, yeah, you can catch pretty fast, whether you're using spinners or the swim bait, lures, whatever. You do catch fast. I'm not going to say any more than the XP is terrible. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm saying. You back home now, Dot. Two more days, man. Two more days, and then it'll all be worth it, Doc. Just two more days, and then it'll make it all worth it. <laughs> oh, I missed that. It is, man. It is. It is, definitely. You can't even see the chat. Do you know what? It's funny you say that, Trippy, because yesterday, well, not yesterday, early hours this morning, your messages are coming through, just so you know. But yesterday, well, early hours this morning, I was watching someone's stream, 
I watched this guy stream quite a lot. I'm not going to say any names or anything, but I was watching someone stream. Actually, I don't mind saying the name. It, it's fine. It's like, I don't mind. Yeah, you know, I give him a shout out. <laughs> but there's this guy that I watch called Typical Gamer. I'm pretty sure most of you know him. He's a very popular streamer. He plays a lot of different games. And uh, he, he is one of the very, very first person people I ever in my life watched on YouTube. Typical Gamer was the very first person. The first thing I ever watched on YouTube was him. And it was playing GTA. <laughs> he was playing GTA, yeah. But I was watching him last night. And I was messaging in his chat. And for some reason my messages weren't showing up. That's, um, yeah, kind of strange. I don't know what's going on. But other people were saying, people were putting in the chat that they could see my messages, but I couldn't see my own message. I don't know why. Ark Survival Evolved, yeah, he plays that. I did a lot of Ark back in the day, but I don't really do it as much anymore just because I didn't have enough people to play it with. We started off with like a seven-man tribe, and we went from a seven-man tribe down to just me. <laughs> so, yeah, because of that, I... Um, yeah. One thing I wish they added to the... G okay. Um, message before that. Yeah, we all know Typical Gamer. He's great, man. I love him. He is definitely my all-time top streamer, man. Love that guy. Go check him out. If you ain't subscribed to him, you should be. He is awesome. Waves on the water. That would be pretty awesome, man. That would be pretty awesome, having waves. I've always said it'd be nice if they could add... Um, whenever you're ready, Dots. Whenever you're ready for it, man. Let me know. It would be nice if they added, like, waves, a big sword boat. Uh, like, five people could get on it. It means I could get subscribers to come on that boat and fish with us. I can, I can get subscribers to stand here and, and fish with us. Thanks for subscribing, man. Welcome to the channel. I can get, um, yeah, I can get them to fish here with us, but it would be really, really awesome if there was big waves, we're out in the deep ocean, catching some marlin, some sharks, some tuna fish, like some really, really big fish. Be, yeah. I can't believe how many subscribers we've had just through this stream alone. That is absolutely bonkers. That's probably the most... The most we've ever had. That's pretty good. And to sink your boat? Oh, could you imagine that? <laughs> could you imagine that? Sinking your boat. You know what? I was fishing in a random room yesterday and somebody said to me, wouldn't it be good if they added chairs? A deck chair. So you could put a deck chair down. Or some kind of fishing camping chair and then you could sit in your chair. That would be awesome. That would be good. I also said about... Maybe like putting a, for, especially for the Amazon, to put like a tilly lamp or a lantern or some kind of lamp down so you can see. Because it, to fish there in the night time, it gets so, so dark. Like it's ridiculous how dark. I said, Dots, if you don't want to pay it all in one go, pay half and then pay the other half. However you want to do it, man. However you want to do it, that's how we do it. However you want, man. Yeah, to put rod stands on your boat, yeah. So at least, at a minimum, you know, put five people on a boat and... Put five people on a boat and maybe put at least two rods out per person. At least two, two, two rods to put on a stand and one in your hand. That, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, whenever you're ready, Dots, let me know, man. No rush. Well, there probably is a rush for you because you you obviously want it quick, so. <laughs> but yeah, whenever you're ready and however you want to do it, it's all good.
My dog's enjoying the sun today. She's laying down, rolling around upside down. I don't know what that was. <laughs> but yeah, she's laying down, rolling around upside down. Pulls up, right up in the air. <laughs> yeah, the heat. The heat is real, man. I got all every single window open in my house. Every single window. There's no wind. There's no breeze. It feels like nothing. It's not gonna be long until I start streaming here, and I'm gonna need to put. I'm gonna need to put a fan there. I'm gonna have to position the fan so it's away from the mic, so it, it doesn't make any strange noises or distortion onto the mic. This is a good. This is a good fish. I think. I think. Oh, it could be okay. No, it's top, and it's not as big as I thought though. Oh, good freezer. I don't know what's been going on. But the last couple of days, there's been a lot of glitches, a lot of freeze ups in this game. It's not been good. Let's grab the float rod. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the brakes on that bike are well and truly lived out its life. Yeah. It's like when you buy a new car and your old car has to go to the graveyard. <laughs> That's kind of how your bike is, man. And it's been like that for a long, long time. Oh, well. I'm on day 31. Yeah, I'm on day... I, I think the furthest day I've ever got to is probably about day... Hmm... Probably about day 67, 68, something like that. I think. I have to keep I have to keep jumping days forward because otherwise if I don't it doesn't then it doesn't then make it entertaining so I have to keep on I have to keep on taking the day forward Oh come on my music there we go Yeah I have to keep taking days forward for the downtime to keep it entertaining for you guys and because I am impatient That's why I spent my real money buying bait coins man that's why I had to get rid of my other boat. Give me a break of buying bait coins. Even if it's only for a month. Oh, we got one snagged up. I think it could be this one. Is it this one? It wasn't that one. I don't think it's the float one. Is it the float one? It can't be the float one. The float one's moving around. It's got to be that one on the far left. Okay. Definitely not the float one, I know that. You got no sun, but it's warm. Yeah, it's, well, it's the same. <laughs> the, it's not, okay, there's a little bit of sun coming out now, but pretty much all day it's been cloudy, but it has been really, it's been really like humid, really hot. It's not, it's not great. I don't like the heat. I'm so used to it being cold. Well, we got the glitch, game glitch. There we go. Got no wind, you live by the sea. Yeah, I know, man, but for real, there is no wind at all. I'm not even joking, there is nothing. If there was wind right now, you would see it. Them window, them, that window there, both of them windows are literally as wide open as they can be. And the, I got blinds there. If there was any wind, at all. I've seen it before whilst live streaming. I see something in, in my background because I can see my own face cam. I see I see something moving behind me and it is most of the time them blinds because of the window being open but look at those blinds. They are not moving at all. Completely no wind. <laughs> yeah. I did live in London for a little bit, and when I lived there, I did miss the sea. That's the smell of the sea as well, that salt water. Sounds silly, but yeah, I definitely did miss the sea. And then when I come back, all I wanted to do was to get to the sea. I moved back to Brighton and Hove, and then after that, don't think I've ever been to the beach. <laughs> I don't need to go to the beach. I'm right on the beach. 
Like, I mean, I don't need to actually go down onto the beach. It's just that the smell of the salt air is good. Helps you sleep good sometimes. Especially if you haven't slept for a couple of days. It helps. There isn't a window in this block that you work in. So I'm like in a sauna. I believe it, man. Uh, not too bad for Geordie. Because Geordie, he works indoors and outdoors, doesn't he? And where he works, it's all... Even when he is working indoors, it's still all kind of like open. So... It's not too bad for people working outside. But then I guess it could be. Because that heat... <laughs> the temperature's 50. We're not too far away from London, to be honest. We're not very far away from London at all. We're like about, about an hour away from London. So yeah, we're not very far away from London. I think that's the float. Okay, it weren't the float. They got snagged. Yeah, we're about an hour away from London. So we're not, we're not too far away. I definitely feel the heat today, though. Not that, I, not that I've actually been out. I've just been sitting indoors, all the windows open. But, yeah, I feel the heat. My night bot is so heavy right now. I need to, I definitely need to adjust it. Sometimes it's alright, and then sometimes it just goes a little bit... A little bit over the top like it is today. Only, yeah. Only one of them don't have a window. And that one that don't have the window is the one place that you hate to work. <laughs> you're not from the UK or London? Oh, you're from the USA. Nice. Land of the free, United States. There's quite a lot of people that actually do do come into the stream, and a lot of people that I've got added on Steam. Most of them are from the from the states. Drives you crazy? Yeah, I bet, man. I'm not good in hot places. I li I think I could live in somewhere where it's really cold all the time. I don't think um. I think I could de deal with that. The heat, I can't, I can't deal heat. I can't, I can't do it. It makes me, it stresses me out. I don't know if anyone else gets that. But when I get too hot, it makes me so stressed. It, it really does stress me out. I don't know if it's just me, but... Ohio. Uh-huh, nice. Ohio, great place. Oh uh, yeah, I think I'm. I think I ran my my course for that day. We got 266 pound. We're at 603. weren't a brilliant day, but it wasn't terrible. So let's uh, let's move to the next day. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I have no idea why I did that. Next day, see so fourteen thousand cash and just over four and a, four and a half thousand XP in within one hour in game time. That's not real time. That's some serious fast fishing. That really is. That is really fast. Yeah, we got a sunny day this day. Let's see what happens. We absolutely melt those large minnows, though. Go through those so quick. And they're the Cleveland. It's also connected with Canada. Very nice, man. What do you What do you fish for there, Dominic? What sort of fish do you do you catch?
That's the only thing you know there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Canada, I'm interested. There's a lot of places in the world I would like to go, but to be honest, I have never ever left the UK and that is because it cost, it cost me too much money. It cost me too much money to go on a holiday. I think the last time, I'm now 33, the last time I had a holiday was probably, and it wasn't even out of the UK. I just went out of where I live. And that was probably when I was about about 13 years old. Nearly 20 years ago. Or oh, it could be more than 20 years ago. <laughs> I've never left the UK. I would like to, but not only it's a money problem, but I don't like the idea of getting on a plane. That makes me nervous. I don't like putting myself in a situation that I can't get myself out of. I know that sounds kind of silly, but that's always been... That's always been my motto of life. Do not put yourself in a situation you can't get yourself out of. For some people, they, they, you know, they, they don't care. They're happy to just... Away you go. I'm not saying every plane's going to end up going down, but I wouldn't want to be in that situation. I know sometimes, if, you know, things are the way they are for a reason. If, it, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But that's not a way how I would like to... Yeah... <laughs> it's not a way how I'd like to end it. Definitely not. Oh, you catch walleye. Walleye, bass, perch, freshwater drum, bowfin, catfish. Nobody saw that. No one saw that. We didn't see anything. I'll pay for you to go. Even if you did, man, as I say, I don't, I couldn't, I don't think I could get on a plane. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think I could. I don't know. It wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a fear. It's just, I don't put myself in a situation I can't get out of. And that's putting myself in a situation in someone else's hands and I can't do anything about it. And I'm not, I'm not going to say that something bad's going to happen because that, that is silly to think that it would, but. It's still a possibility. Something could still happen. That's not that's not the way I like to go down. Even if I am even if I am gonna go into the sun. That's the other thing as well, the sun. I'd rather I'd rather go North Pole. <laughs> I don't wanna be anywhere where it's too too hot. I can't deal the heat. They're crappy as well. My dad said that he would like to do that one time. Obviously, again, money problem. If I if I ever did have enough money to... Um, yeah, if I ever did have enough money, I'd love to pay for my dad. Because it's something that he's always wanted to do. He wanted to... I can't remember... I don't, I don't know the specific place where he said. But there was... When I was younger, there was this place where he was going to go. And I think it was like for a week. And he gets to fish... It was out of the UK, obviously, but he gets to fish somewhere, somewhere else, and he gets to fish at a different few lakes for a week. I'd love to pay for him to do that, man. That's something that he would. He's um, as a kid, that's what he wanted. That's what he wanted to do. But again, looking after us kids and money problems and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's don't, it don't matter if, who I'm with, man. It's not going to stop. If that plane's going to go down, it's going to go down. It's like, it don't matter who, who, I, who I'm with. It's not going to make any difference. If it's, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. <laughs> As I say, it does sound kind of silly, but I just I can't do it. I don't know. Maybe one day in the future, possibly. I don't know, but... Yeah. 
that money that I spend on that flight ticket is money that I could spend buying my kids new things. That's the way I always look at stuff. When I've got that extra cash, the extra cash could could buy my kids stuff. And when you got when you got kids, they they should always come first. Especially when you got free to pay for. Even more so. You've only flew to Florida. That's nice, man. Florida's nice. First stop, Amsterdam. <laughs> you like Amsterdam? I'd rather be on a plane and know if the plane were to go down, it would be over much quicker than sinking slowly on a boat. But I know I can swim, Trippy. I know I'm a really good swimmer. I probably would end up drowning, you're very correct, or maybe being eaten or something, possibly. But if I had a choice between going on a plane or going on a boat, I'd take my chances with the boat. I know that on a boat, my chance survival rate would be more. It would definitely be more. If the boat sinks, you're gonna be swimming. Depending on the weather, uh, obviously how cold or how hot it is obviously that is gonna yeah that is not gonna be a good thing and yeah you're right you could die slowly but i'd rather take my chances being out in the middle of the ocean i'd rather i would i'm a really good swimmer i've like i'm 33 years old ever since i was a kid i've always swim so i would definitely rather take my chances i don't mind getting on a boat and the boat sinks and i gotta make my own way <laughs> i would probably absolutely I'd be scared, <laughs> but I would definitely rather take a chance of being in a boat, the boat sinking, rather than being in a plane and the engines cut out. Yeah. You need to visit Ajax Stadium. Whereabouts is that, Dots? You hate boats? Dominic, you love boats? I like boats, man. I do like boats. You'd ride in a boat all day. On a day of how hot it is today, it would be absolutely amazing to be out on a boat fishing for some of those massive fish. I'd love to do that. Really nice day for fishing. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, permit. You own a boat? What type of boat do you have, Dominic? Is it a big boat or like a cruising boat, a little small boat, rowboat? Like, what, what type of boat? A dinghy, maybe. I quite like dinghies, even though they're not very big, but you can get some of them that are actually a pretty decent size. Get a dinghy, get a good motor on the back. You can move at some speed. Oh, it's in Amsterdam, is it? Okay. Give you the plane, not the boat. <laughs> it's true to say that cruise ships these days are not comfortable with them cramped. Oh wow, fate was eating a loss. Yeah. They do take a while, but again, I would probably take my chances on a boat compared to a plane. I definitely would. If I was going to travel and I had a choice between going somewhere on a boat or a plane, I'd feel so much more comfortable being on a boat. Being out in the open like that, seeing the ocean as well, very nice. Oh wow, that's a big fish. That is a big fish. I have no idea what type of boat that is, Dominic. Descri try and describe it to me in some sort of other way. I do know a little about boats, but not very much, clearly, because I don't know what boat we are, what, what boat you're saying. <laughs> that is a big fish. I, I have had a couple of boats myself in the past. Not that I really went very far on them, <laughs> but I, I did have a couple of boats. I think if I ever got to a point where I did have a good amount of money, 
um, in the marina, not not too too far away from me, but probably about a 30 minute drive from me. There's a marina, and you can have boats there, and you can leave them in the dock. I'd love to do that. Do some fishing in real life like that. Oh, she's a big girl, or he's a big girl, one or the other. Still big. It's got built-in rod holders. That's all that matters, man. That's all you need. That's all you need. Look at the XP on that. You cannot get XP like that at Maku Lake. That's why we're fishing Blue Crab Island. And the cash as well. Nearly 7,500 cash. And we can catch them at pretty quick, pretty quick pace as well. So you can catch those unique tarpon. As you can see, this is a sunny day. Early morning. You can also catch them on the... On them sunny and cloudy days as well. So that's good. It gives us a chance to get even more. I don't know why. But in real life I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to do a bit of fishing in a river. Strange. I don't know. I, can, I just can't explain it. Like doing some fly fishing. That's just something that I've always wanted to do. I've never done it. And one day hopefully I will do it. But. I've done, that's a good one, I've done lake fishing with my dad many years ago, I've done sea fishing, but I've never done fly fishing, and I don't want to do it just because that way I can say I've done all different fishing, I want to do it because it's just, I like the way that you have to control the rod, like by moving, flicking your rod back and forth to draw out more line and stuff, I would love to do, yeah, I'd love to do river fishing. That'd be really nice. I'd like to do that. It's like Aaron's old fishing boat. I don't think I ever see it. Patrolling. That'd be nice, man. On a day like this. Now that sun's come out a little bit. It's been cloudy all day. But now that sun's come out. Being on a boat out in the open ocean. That nice smell of that salt air. And... Uh, yeah, the boat going along nice and slow. Not that I really drink beer very often, but a very nice cold beer with uh, some ice. Or even, if not, a bottle of water, that'd do me. <laughs> Put the rod stands out and um, just keep the, keep the boat rolling. That'd be good. It sounds good. It definitely sounds good. And that would be nice. <laughs> Please don't talk about beer. Was it you, Dots, who showed me about the something about when you're going into pubs? Um, something about an app or something to pay? Was that you sh who said that, or it could have been Geordie? I know it's one of you. Was saying was saying something about you have to get an app. Oh, it was you. Okay, I know it's you or Geordie. I know it's one of you. Well, that's a pretty good day's fishing. That's a pretty good day. We're still getting more hits. We got 394 pound in our net within the first hour. That's not real time in game time. That's really fast fishing. Look how far I can pull that fish in. It pulls it in from so far out. type of bit I think you said um, I'm pretty sure you said you drink uh, it was Jack Daniels wasn't it um was it no it wasn't Jack Daniels you said coconut was it a coconut drink that you said you said you like Malibu is that is that correct that bang sound that you heard there was my knee hitting my desk by the way <laughs> I moved too fast Normally I would jump to the next day at this point, just because we are at six, but for the fact we deal, did have some interest on them, I do want to try and use that spin rod a little bit more, because we're on a sunny day. There we go. I don't mind staying longer, as long as I am catching. If I'm still catching her, then it's, I don't mind it. <coughs> yeah. 
you have to order your so in the pubs you have to order your drinks by an app and then you have to wait 15 minutes and then you pay for it contactless over your VIA mobile phone yeah Give you a bottle of Corona. A bottle of Corona <laughs> and a cold sixteen sixty four. Now the bottle of Corona, maybe not. Malibu, it was you who liked Malibu. See, that goes to show how much I pay attention to people. I haven't spoke to you for a little bit. And then we start talking about different alcohol and then straight away. I, I, from the last time, I remember you saying that you had Malibu. It is kind of hard for me to try and remember everything as well. So sometimes if I don't remember everything, you know, we do get a lot of different people coming in the stream every day. And a lot of people do say, do you remember me? It is hard for me to remember people, but the easiest way I remember people is by seeing them a lot. If I see their name in chat a lot or leaving comments quite a lot on different videos, that's that's how that's how I always remember people. Ah, uh, Budweiser as well. Okay, I don't think I've really had Budweiser. I don't think I, I might have tasted it. I don't know. I don't think I have though. It's not really something I would go for to be honest. <laughs> and you saying about hangovers with spirits, I think pretty much everyone gets that. That means that you're drinking too much, Trippy. <laughs> if you <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah. If you're getting bad hangovers from drinking spirits <laughs> Means you're drinking too much of it. Oh that that was funny. <laughs> Don't drink so much. Uh, it was the other day I went out my motorbike battery this <clears throat> obviously with the coronavirus everybody's staying in and stuff there hasn't been many people out so my motorbike battery I haven't used my motorbike for around about three months I went out on my bike and I wish I did actually make a video of that and it's called motorbike rage because I kind of kind of got a little angry because somebody was driving stupid and uh, started moaning at me about my driving and their driving was even worse than mine. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was trying to drive around, trying to charge up my battery and it didn't quite work. You watch that video. I, I was, I didn't know whether to upload it, man. It was one of those videos where I just thought, you know, I keep the family, I keep it family friendly. And to a point, it is kind of family friendly. Like there isn't no bad language there anyway so not any swear words no 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 it's definitely the battery man it's definitely the battery so I was driving around and turned the bike off turned it back on it wouldn't start up I kicked it up kick started it it started up the day after I went back to the bike again because I was going to do a live stream driving around um, using my phone as a live stream I went back to the bike started it nothing it turned on as soon as I pressed the power button even if I pressed the horn the whole dashboard died so I then um, I then took the battery I took it home and I charged the battery without using a motorbike charger which again I made a video of that just random videos I charged it up and it had about I think it was like 12.3 volts I took it off charge within 30 minutes. It went down to 9.4 volts. The battery's had its time. To be fair, the battery is eight years old. You know, so most motorbike batteries are normally, the lifespan is normally around kind of about that anyway. So it didn't do too bad. So now I've got to buy a new battery, which is going to cost me, it's going to cost me about 70 pounds for a new battery. I'm not looking forward to that. 
So, all right, dots. So now because of that, I'm gonna have to. I haven't got any, any live stream for the motorbike, so that sucks. And it means I can't make any videos on the motorbike. That sucks. And it means I can't use my motorbike. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, the battery did charge. When, when, I, when I put it on the charger, it did show charging, but after I took the wires off, the battery just, it gave up. Yeah, the voltage went right down. Yeah, and also not using the battery for quite a while. Like before, before now, I've left the bike um, seven months, the bike was left. That motorbike was left for seven months. Walked up to it, pressed the electric start, started first time instantly, straight away. This time I've left it three months and nothing. So it's got to be... I have got a kickstart, but the battery's so flat that I kickstarted it and it wouldn't even kickstart. That's how flat the battery is. You do still need to have a little bit of power in your battery. If you want to kickstart it, you've got to have a little bit of power. You have to, to get that spark. So, um, yeah, I thought maybe if I give it a charge, because it's just been sitting there for a little while, I thought if I charge the battery, then that might bring the battery back to life. I could charge the battery, drive around for a few hours. I don't know why I have no music. Yeah, I thought if I charge the battery myself, then drive around for about three hours, do a couple of live streams, couple of videos and stuff, and that'll wake the battery back up. But after charging it, putting it back on the bike, I tried the electric start, the dashboard all died off. I tried the kick start, the battery, again, the dashboard all died off. So that battery has had its fair share of life. <clears throat> Not bad though, like the bike is a 2012 model bike and we're like 2020 halfway through the year, nearly, but minus a couple of days. So it lasted eight, eight and a half years. That's pretty good. That is pretty good for a motorbike battery. That is pretty decent. Most motorbike batteries that I have do last between six to eight years. I think the longest one I ever had is probably this battery right now. So. It's actually done really well. I could buy the same battery as what I got, which is a lead, a lead cell battery. But I want to buy an AMG battery, or if not an AMG battery, a uh, what's another name for them? I forgot the other name, like a lithium, a lithium. There we go, a lithium battery. Which is 75% lighter than my battery. So to make it lighter means more speed. <laughs> you get that? I don't know. I might get an extra one mile an hour more speed possibly now. I don't know. It wouldn't. But yeah. it's um, I could buy the same battery as what I've got for about for about £40. It costs about £40. But if I buy the better battery, the lithium one, which has a lot longer lifespan, has more cranking power as well, so it would actually, it would start up even quicker, even though that bike was always been amazing for starting, other than now the battery being flat, it's always been good, but yeah, if I got a lithium battery, about 70 pounds, including delivery, the 499, so it's like 75 pound for a, for a battery, that's a little bit bonkers, but it's gonna take me a little while, but when I do get the money, that's the very first thing I gotta buy. The first thing, the thing I should do is stop buying bait coins on Fishing Planet. <laughs> but stop buying bait coins, and then that money I can put towards a battery. This game is quite addictive, though. I gotta be honest. A pretty good day so far. We still keep messing around with this spinning rod. You only ever used a kickstart. I tried kickstarting it, man. I kickstarted it so, so many times. I really did. The video that I made when I kickstarted it, it kickstarted first time. I'm so glad it did because if it didn't, I would have had to push the bike all the way home. 
and that was quite away from home. So from where I was, from Woodendean, pushing that bike all the way home, I would have, it would have took me a, a few hours at least. So yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't have been fun. But <clears throat> I don't know why the battery has had its time. As I say, after eight and a half years, I think that's pretty good battery life. If I have to buy one battery for my motorbike every eight and a half years, can't complain of that. You got an alarm and heat grips on your old bike. A lot of people had them heat grips. I've never tried them. Is the heat grips any good? It killed the battery so fast. And it was a gel battery. Hmm. See, the battery that I've got in there now has always been good up till, up till today. Well, up till the other day. So it's always been good. So it makes me think um, whether I should just buy the same battery as what I've already got. Because it's not let me down. It hasn't let me down. Obviously now, yeah. But that's eight and a half years later. But it hasn't let me down. It's always been, it's always been good. And if I was using the bike every day, like I was before before the coronavirus stuff, if I was using the bike every day, my battery probably would be okay, to be honest. Because me using it every day would obviously keep on recharging it. I think it's got to the point where I left it for so long that the battery's decharged itself and lost cells. I think that's, I think that's what's happened. But yeah, I'm not sure whether to buy the same motorbike battery that I've already got or whether to get a GL1 lithium battery. I'm not sure. I think I am going to jump to the next day in a moment. We don't have much interest going on. We got 534 in our net though, so that's some good cash there. After not riding my bike for months and going out and on it, it was that was so nice as well. That was so good. That's why the day after I went, I was willing to go straight out on it again and do a live stream off the motorbike. That's why I was willing to do that this, literally the next day. It was really good. But I got some plans. I got some plans to try and earn me some extra cash, so that way I can keep keep buying these bait coins. <laughs> keep buying these bait coins and so that way I can get my motorbike battery so maybe a week or two a week or two and um, I might be able to get the bike up and running again possibly at the longest maybe maybe two three weeks we'll see yeah yeah I, I could have asked my my brother-in-law, he's done it before on one of my old motorbikes where the battery was like that. It done what it's done now. And he'd come down and he'd put his leads on on my bike and I'd fire it up and it'd start boom. And then we'd leave it ticking over for a little bit and I probably could do that to be honest. I know if I did do that, it definitely would start. It definitely would. But then when I turn the engine off and try and restart it, it probably wouldn't after that. So it's it's kind of... It's pointless me doing that. If I could get him to bring his car, put some jump leads on it, I could start my bike up, it'd be okay. And then, yeah, the battery's old, man. I, there's no point in me trying to trying to extend it any longer. I've just got to accept my fate. And um, eight and a half years later of having a battery, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah. What do you think I should do? Do you think I should get the the lithium gel, lithium lion gel battery, AMG ba AMG battery? They all class the same thing. Or do you think I should get? Do you think I should get a lead acid battery like I already have? Like I know the new batteries are definitely a lot lighter, and they say that they got more cranking power for starting. But. The battery that I, I did have, the lead acid battery, it definitely is obviously a heavy battery, but it's always been good. It never, apart from now, after eight, eight and a half years, it hasn't let me down. 
I don't mind replacing a battery every every eight and a half years. That's no problem. That's like less than ten pound a year, basically. I kind of think that as well because I was waiting to see what you was going to say. Then I was going to say for the Piaggio, for the Piaggio Vespa that I had, I the battery died in that. And I brought a new battery. It cost me £75, which was the, the lithium gel battery that I, I brought. And I can press the button on top of the battery and it says test to show how much power is in the battery, which is pretty cool. Add terminals both sides of the battery, which again is pretty cool. But I felt like I kept having some kind of electrical issue with that. Like my, my electrics didn't... There was something wrong. After I put that battery on there, there was something different. I don't, I can't explain it. There was just something that wasn't right. That's a good tarpon. That's a big tarpon, that. That is a big tarpon. Whoa, that's big. I don't think it's unique though, because I did reel it in kind of easy. Not as big as I thought. It looks so much bigger than 40 pounds. Yeah, in that sort of way, it's good for that. That's the thing. Like, it's not very often I leave my bike to sit. I normally use my bike seven days a week. Normally, I use my bike seven days a week. But obviously, because of the coronavirus, I haven't. And then, when I brought the bike, obviously, I brought the bike from Geordie. He didn't use the bike for seven months as well. So, in total, the bike sat in one place for almost a year almost a year it, that really does explain why the battery has gone to poop doesn't it <laughs> yeah well apparently the, the the you do have to get a different type of battery charger for those lithium batteries you can't use a normal one but the batteries that i buy will allow me to use a trickle charger on that lithium battery so that's pretty good it does allow me to do that but if I buy the if I buy the gel battery it might have more cranking power it, the battery might be better but it it's recommended life is going to be longer than the sealed battery and it's lighter but then as I say my batteries that sealed the lead battery that I've got lead acid one it's lasted eight years man and if I buy the lead acid battery, yeah, it is definitely a lot heavier, but it's less than half the price. I can buy that for anything between 30, 40 pound ish, something like that. And then the other one's like 75 pound. So big difference in price, but then it's also a big difference in weight. Probably why your battery died so fast. Hmm. Uh, so what do you think? Think it's think I should go for the same battery as what I've already had for eight years, or do you think I should get one of those one of those expensive batteries that are a lot lighter and have more cranking power and have more life? What do you think? The only thing that makes me want to get the new battery is just that it's lighter. That's the only thing that makes me want to get it. It's just that it's lighter. Other than that, having the lead acid battery, it's always been good, man. It's always been good. Get the exactly the same one. I can't get exactly the same one because I have to import that from Italy. And if I have to import that from Italy, it's like £30 shipping plus the battery. That works out to be about £80, man. <laughs> so I'm not going to get the exactly the same battery. Definitely not. Definitely not. I did ring around a few different shops and see if they had a battery similar to mine. But they don't. Because the bike is, is originally Italy, so... 
That's where a lot of my parts are going to come from. I'd have to wait ages for it to turn up and I have to pay shipping fees and yeah, I probably ain't going to get the same battery, that's for sure. Um, I don't have... I've got an alarm, but the alarm's built in anyway. But I'm not going to add heated grips or anything like that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to be adding any, any more stuff to draw any sort of power from the battery. It's just going to be how it was, how it is at the minute. Which is just to start the bike, really, and the alarm. That's it. Hmm. It's a hard choice, man. It is a hard choice. I guess it's not. It's not that I'm bothered about spending the extra money. Like I can, I can just wait an extra week, and then I'll be able to get the battery. It's not a big deal. So, it's not so much about the money, it's just more what's going to work best in the long run. The heated grips will suck the juice. <laughs> I bet the heated grips are nice though in the winter. Because as much as I do love love the, the cold rather than preferring heat. Yeah, driving around on a motorbike in the winter is, is hard going. Your hands, oh wow. It don't matter if I put gloves on and then put motorbike gloves on. It's, uh, yeah, it's not a good, it's not a good experience. <laughs> Stick with the lead battery. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do then. See, one thing I should do that would make things so much easier on myself, I don't know why I haven't done it, but to, uh, even if I'm not using the bike, to go and start it up at least once a week, I could let it start up, I could take a bottle of water, take my phone, I don't know, watch something on my phone, sit there, have a drink my water and sit on the bike and just leave the engine ticking over for about 20 minutes or so. If I did that, that's what, well, that is recommended to do. If I did do that, then I don't think I would have any battery issues right now. But I never did do that. But I should have done that. Wow, man. That's crazy. 180 miles and the battery still wouldn't be charged. Hmm. That is, that is crazy, man. That's some serious distance. And yet the battery wouldn't be charged. Yeah. I'll stick with the lead one then. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be ever, I don't think I would ever use heated grips. I've always, in the winter, I've always just took it on the, on the chin and just, I just bear, bear it out. I do have heated gloves as well. I can put some AA batteries in and like a strap goes on my wrist and I can use heated gloves. So I could always use those and I always use rechargeable batteries as well. So I get that little bit more power and I ain't got to worry about the batteries dying and all that kind of thing. But I brought them heated gloves. I think I used them the very first time I got them. I used them that time. I never bothered after that. Just because I don't like taking too much. When I'm going for a nice drive, I don't want to keep taking too much stuff with me. Like I've already got my rucksack, my motorbike jacket on, a, a pair of boots and jings, and you know, so I'm already heavy at that point. Whatever else I carry in my bike, and then putting heated gloves on, and then I then have to have like a strap on my wrist with like a box there where I put the batteries in. I don't like carrying too much. If it wasn't so big and bulky, I probably would, I probably would have, would have done, used it more, but. Is there any option to wire in two batteries?
Mm. I guess if you fused it, you probably could, yeah. Like if you if you fused it, but I think that could cause some problems. Maybe it could make a bulb pop, or yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, because two batteries that would be like. 24 volts whereas if the motorbike battery only needs 12 volts so it could possibly damage something it might be all right but there is a possibility like if you put a fuse between the two it might pop the fuse rather than popping a bulb or popping something on your bike but um yeah if i fused it from battery to battery the worst that would happen is the fuse would pop, but I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't attempt it to be honest. I could probably leave a spare battery in there as a backup, and then is what I could do is, if my battery was low, I could kind of connect that battery to the other battery, and that would be almost like jump starting kind of thing. I could probably do that. I could probably do that, but I don't want to keep carrying too much weight around with me, you know? That weight cost me extra petrol, which that's not the biggest problem. That's probably the least problem. But the main problem is, is that weight getting that top end speed. You're no electrician. I'm not an electrician either, man. I do know a, a good amount about electrics, but not everything. I know, I know, I know enough to get me by. Like I, I could rewire a whole motorbike, no problem. I know how to repair some phones, so, and obviously I, I built my own PC, so I do know bits and pieces about electric, electric wires and whatever, but there's definitely a lot more I, I could learn, there's definitely a lot more I could know, but it's alright, I'll buy a lead battery, that's it, that's the choice, <laughs> that's the choice. It's going to be that little bit cheaper, and I know that it's going to be a good battery. Mine lasted eight and a half years, man. If I kept cranking that bike once a week, it would have probably lasted another two more. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if it would have if it would have done. Yeah, it probably would have done longer. It's always been good, and like it doesn't matter how cold it is outside. It could be so so cold outside. Or even really hot. It doesn't matter about the weather. I could just walk up to that bike any time of the year and just hear that electric start. And it would be so, so quick. It's definitely the fastest starting bike I've ever had. I've never had a bike that starts up as quick as that. I literally just push it the most slightest little bit and instant the bike starts. But I'm glad that you said that, because that does save me a bit of money, though. <laughs> for me to for me to get that battery, it's probably going to be about thirty. I wouldn't say more than forty pound for me to but for me to buy a lead battery. I can't see it being. I can't see it being more than forty pounds. So at least that saves me a bit of money. Yeah, yeah, it's always a good thing, man. If you're not using a vehicle for a while, you should definitely start it once a week. The reason why I never bothered with the bike is because it's always been good. It is, that's why I didn't bother to start it once a week. I could leave it as long as I want, and that bike would always, always start. But the battery being nearly eight years old, and the bike not really moving that that much within a year definitely does take a, a big effect <laughs> that takes a, ma a massive effect and the seven months of not using it and then walking up to it and it's starting straight away i was very surprised that it did start after seven months it just works Yeah. Yeah, I, th I feel like when it's cold, that that definitely, obviously, for some vehicles, it does make it really hard for it to, for them to start. 
for me, um, as I say, it don't matter the weather. Mine is it's a good tarpon. It don't matter the weather. My my bike's always been good. It's always always been good. But you can't really leave a bike to stand for. A, you know, the bikes, the bike is like eight years old. You can't leave a bike to stand for a year, almost, but then just walk up to it and, and think that everything's going to be okay, because sometimes it can be, but that's 98% of the time, and that's not the case. You can't leave a bike to stand that long and just walk up to it and expect it to be okay. I am really, really shocked, though, that it wouldn't start on the kickstart, because that's the first time it's never done that. It's the very first time. In them eight years, that's the very first time that bike's never started by the kick. It's a good top in this one. Nice. Look at that XP gain, that's insane. Not that we need the XP, it's the cash, but that's still really good. How much cash we got? Whoa! That's good. We're almost at the point where me buying that boat we pretty much got the boat for free. We're not too far away. We are not too far away from what we had before I brought that boat. So that's really good. These days fishing have got us, got us a good amount of cash. And again, good XP as well. Not that we're after the XP, but the XP here is definitely faster and better than Maku. I'm going to jump next day just to keep it rolling. 22,000 within within an hour in game time, not real time. That is, look at that, 12,000 XP, 22,000 cash. You keep fishing an hour, jump a day, fish an hour, jump a day. You're going to be a rich man really fast. I need to get close to a meal again. Just so that way when new updates do come. I am then able to to show that good content, buying new stuff. So I definitely got to get close to a mil. Anything like 700,000, 800,000 cash. As long as they got either one of that, then, um, then it's decent. That'd be enough for me to buy new stuff. <coughs> I'm gonna quickly have a snack, I think. I've oh, got a got a drink as well. Look at this drink. Hold on, let me show you. I got that, but I didn't bring a glass. So I gotta drink it from that, so I'm gonna be like <laughs> a big bottle in my face. Yeah. I forgot to bring I forgot to bring the glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's what happens when I rush, man. It's what happens when I rush. So are you up for playing some GTA today? Are you busy today or not? You want to do some GTA? Five oh five. We gotta hit. Alright, nice. Good stuff. Well, at least I've earned some good money on here today, that's for sure. Fifty-five pound, not bad. I'm gonna have to quickly run and go get a glass so I can put my drink in a glass. I can't, I can't drink my drink out of that big bottle. That's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit ridiculous. Oh, you did? Why did you do that? Why did you start a new character for? There was some kind of skin or something or some something that you could get by the 27th 
of me on GTA. I see it on Instagram. I forget exactly what it was, but it was something. I think it was some... Was it a skin or clothing or something? I don't know. Yeah, clothing. I say skin because I'm thinking Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, some kind of different clothing or something. I'm sure it was. The amount of slack I had there, I'm very surprised I didn't lose that. Yeah, yeah, they do, man. They surely do. But then if you're doing if you're just doing loads of missions and earning money that way, they can't really do anything in that sort of sense then, can they? Like me being a low me being a low level. I would, I would do missions, obviously, for the cash, but also, like, doing races and stuff. Then that way you ain't really going to have that problem of people trying to be a pain. Yeah. It don't make it very good for me, either, because I've got YT in the name. <laughs> that makes them want to come and, um, come and destroy me as well. That don't help. Uh, I'm going to be back in one sec. I'll be really fast. I'm going to quickly grab a glass so I can put my drink in the glass because I can't drink it out of that. It's a little bit, little bit silly. I got one. Yeah. There was, um, I don't know if it still is, but actually that was, I didn't speak to BR. He sent me a message on, um, I think it was on Steam about three weeks ago. That was the last time I heard of him thinking about it. He sent me a message saying, that GTA is free on Epic Games. And I think it was the the deluxe edition, he was saying, or the limited edition or something like that. I was thinking about getting it, but I didn't bother. It could still be free. There is a possibility of that. This one's permit. Knowing that I can't get unique permit anymore on bait, it's good that they fight well, but it's a pain. Because I know that it's not going to be unique. <clears throat> yeah, look at this, look. Because the, the battery's so dead, I brought it back. I took it back out of my bike. I've got it here. <laughs> That's, that thing's so heavy. Yeah, because it was dead, I took it back out of the bike, and I thought, I bring it back home and I try again. I give it another charge and see if it works, but still the same voltage. So I typed in this number here, which is um, YT. There we go. We've got to get that promotion going of YouTube. YT7B slash BS. So I typed that battery in online. I could probably buy a really cheap version of that for about £25-ish, I think it is. But for me to get exactly the same one, exactly the same, I have to get it imported from Italy. Very expensive. But if I, I could also buy it from a UK seller, which is what I would probably do just so I can get it faster. Uh, that would be about £40. But yeah, that, that number... I typed that number in on eBay. I typed the num that barcode. I don't know. Is that a barcode or an issue number? What's it called? I don't even know. But the the product name 
or the battery company name is Yusia, I think I'm saying that right. Yusia, Y-U-A-S-A. I'm probably saying that wrong. <laughs> but for me to get exactly the same one, yeah, around about, around a, yeah, it's, I can only get that from, from Italy. But I can order a battery very similar to that. I could order one very similar. But maybe if I if I if I'm gonna play some GTA online and try and get some subscribers to join in playing GTA, I think I might need to change my my name on GTA. I think that's a good good idea. Yeah, it's a weird it's a weird name. <laughs> UCR, YCR, UCR. I don't know. I'm probably saying it wrong. Nice. Another permit. We're not doing bad. We need the pace to carry on though. We've got £175 in on it at 5.37 and we started at 5, so that's pretty good. That is pretty good. So I got my glass now. I don't want to drink it out of a big pot like that. <laughs> pot? What did I say pot? It says summer fruits, vitamin C. Vitamin C, is it? Is it vitamin C? Yeah, vitamin C. With extra, extra vitamin C. Got to get those vitamins in. I would normally prefer to drink water, but that's been in my fridge for about a week now. And I thought, well, I should really drink it rather than it going to waste. It was sealed. It wasn't open, just to mention that. That's what I've been drinking today. Nearly four pints of it. <laughs> USA is how you say it. USA. Sounds like I'm saying USA, man. <laughs> I had to put my drink down. You made me laugh. <laughs> Sounds like I'm saying USA. Yeah, this is a good one. I'm glad that I caught it on this rod as well. I do love this rod. Definitely my all-time favourite rod. I got. I'm actually looking forward to that video that I made. And I keep talking about it, but that video that I made, I gotta. I can't wait to release that tonight. That was such a good video. And my only my only hint of that video is I use this popper. But it is it is a good video though. You guys are gonna like it. If you like Fishing Planet, you're definitely gonna like it. Wow. This is this is definitely over a hundred pounds, it's gotta be. There's no way absolutely no way this rod would fight that long if it wasn't so it definitely is <laughs> how's it going matthew that's good to hear man nice 134 pound some of these fish do fight uh, but when i caught the, my biggest fish 216 pound that took me about 15 20 minutes real time crazy how long it takes to reel some of these in. And you catch them in really, you do catch them in really close as well, which is good. 128, 126, sorry. I can't show too long because I, I got another, got another fish on. That's good though. That's some good, good XP, good cash. So what did I have? I had four, five, six. So hold on, let me work it out. So it was four that four it was four hundred thousand that I paid for the bass boat. Oh that's beautiful, you gotta love it when, when it does that. So four hundred 
400,000 for the bass boat, and that left me. What did that leave me? That left me 200, about 290,000 ish. So, not bad. So, four, five, six. Mm, say about. I had about 700,000 cash, about that. And then obviously after me buying that boat, I had like 290 something odd thousand cash. And what, do, what are we at now? We're now at 528,000. So we're not too far away from pretty much covering that boat. We're not very far away from it. They keep getting them unique tarpons like that. A few of the unique drum and black drum. I could do that and put on some cut bait. But I'm not after drum. I'm after tarpon today. Just because they fight longer. They definitely fight longer. So uh, have you fished the, the new Maku Lake yet, Matthew, or you slim blue crab? It is good that that drink's got vitamins in it, but it's so sweet. When you're used to drinking water all the time, oh wow. Well. When you're used to drinking water all, all the time, and then you have a drink like that, it's so sweet. It is very, very sweet. So keep an eye out for the video that I'm going to drop tonight. Because that video that I'm going to drop tonight, tomorrow when I stream, I might do a little bit of what I did in that video. That was really good fun. Not only is it a fun video, but... It's also a helpful video as well at the same time, so it's good. <clears throat> Need to level up now. I was going to fish there myself on PS4 because I play on PC and I play on PS4. So that way... I can play with subscribers because subscribers really like to play with us. So that's why I play, I play PC and PS4s. I don't do Xbox just because I, it means I have to do another account. And I've already started this game four times from the beginning. I don't fancy doing it for the fifth time. But yeah, the reason why I decided to do PC and not PS4 is because I don't have the money for the DLC. So... As much as I want to go on, make a stream and say PS4 live stream New Lake, I've already showed hotspots of the New Lake anyway, so it's not like I'm missing out on anything. I've showed, I've showed hotspots, I've shown different uniques, I've shown how to catch certain fish. So I'm not losing out on anything, but I do, I would rather be on the grind on PS4, I would, but I don't have money for the DLC, so... The only thing it would do is just me level up, which I could do that and then get in that lake, but I don't have money for, I literally had to ask my friend to buy me, <laughs> I had to ask my friend to buy me premium for Fisher Planet on PC. So I got seven days premium on the PC. I don't have premium on the PS4 and there's no way, absolutely no chance I'm going to grind it out without premium. There is no way. I've lost my audio completely right now. Oh, how's it going, Game Boys? You ch what made you change your name, man? Good to see you again. Why did you... Why did you change your name for? Yeah. I, I, I had buffer there. I completely lost all my audio. It's come back now, though. It weren't just your end, Trippy. I think I had that problem as well. You've never brought a DLC pack? The Peru DLC pack is pretty cheap. It's worth it for the rod, but other than that, you only get seven days to fish in that new lake. 
seven days to fish in that new lake and seven days premium, not very much, but then for £17.50, what can you expect? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I've got premium on PC, but I don't have pre premium on PS4. I can't, until I've got more money, I can't. There's no way I'm going to grind on PS4. Not without premium. That will just be too... That'd be too painful for me. <laughs> it would be too painful. Even now, me being max level, I still don't... Like, I'm max level right now on PC. I don't want to fish without premium. Not that I need XP, but... For me to keep bringing good content, showing new lakes, showing new boats, reels, and all that kind of st stuff, I always need a lot of cash to show that update straight away as soon as it's released. So... Your previous account got banned? Well... That sucks, man. At least you're still able to make an account, though. So that's one good thing. I did kind of like that name, Game Boys. That was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I had a Game Boy when I was younger, man. <laughs> it's pa it is painful, man. Trying to fish without premium is the most painful thing in the world. Especially, like I do play other games, but for the fact that this is the main, the main popular game on my channel. For me to fish without premium is terrible. I didn't have money, like I sold my, I sold my DLC boat just to get gold coins because I didn't have money to buy gold coins. I, I had to buy them gold coins with real money. To keep catching fish at a fast pace and keep it, keep the stream entertaining, I got to have bait coins. So I had to sell the, the best boat so I've got bait coins so I'm able to keep the stream, I keep catching fish at a fast pace. It makes me sad when I think about it. But I, I do have the bass boat now, so the bass boat's not, not too bad. You got 40 subs. When I very first, this is like my third YouTube channel that I've had. My very first one got hacked. My second one that I had before this one, it was doing okay. I definitely had a lot more people watching than what I did, than what I do on this this channel, but... I couldn't keep running two YouTube channels, so I completely shut that one down. I should have told people to come over and subscribe to this one, but I just, I couldn't be bothered. I just shut the whole channel down, and I thought I'd come here, and I know I will pull them subscribers back, and I will pull those watches back, because everything that I'm doing, not blowing my own horn or anything, but I do make really good content videos. Not just for fishing, other, other videos as well. The content that I make... I know it's good content. It's what people want to see. Especially me always showing new lakes and showing new DLCs, showing new rods, buying those rods, test them and, uh, testing them and yeah. I know I will get them back. It's just one of those things you have to earn over time. But through this stream though, through this stream, this has been a really good stream. This is This stream is the most amount of subscribers we have ever had whilst live streaming i normally gain subscribers each day anyway but whilst live streaming this is definitely the most subscribers i've ever pulled through this stream this stream's been really good to blow your own trumpet <laughs> it's actually a trumpet emoji well <laughs> Say hello, speak, speak, speak. Come on, speak to the people, speak, speak. You don't want to, you don't want to talk. Speak, 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 come on, speak, 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 talk, talk, talk. <coughs> there we go. <laughs> Took you a moment. That was probably really loud, so rip everybody's ears. Sorry about that. <laughs> I 
I haven't tried any type of boilies in blue crab at all, just because it's salt water. So, yeah, I obviously used boilies in Willow, Weeping Willow, I used a lot of boilies there, but never, never ever used them in blue crab, just because it's salt water. <laughs> that was loud, huh? That was loud for me. She was sitting right next to me. That was right in my ear. If anybody's got headphones on, that would have probably been a lot more painful. Especially if they had the volume quite loud. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been good. <laughs> was it really, really loud? Or just a little loud? So I was going to drop drop the video because recently we I normally say I live stream from Monday to Friday but recently I've been doing it live streams pretty much every day on the weekends I, if I have got spare time then I will do a live stream but the main the main thing is Monday to Friday and if I'm not live if I'm not going to live stream on the weekends then I will put out a video but recently I've been on the grind. I've been grinding really hard. So I've been putting a live stream every day. I don't know for how long, but a little while. <laughs> for a short moment, yeah. We've been live streaming every day and I'm putting out a video every day at 6 p.m. That's UK time, which right now that's around about 35 minutes from now. That video, I am gonna release it, but it's gonna be a little bit later today just because I did the stream a little bit later so because I did the stream a bit later that video is gonna be released a bit later so I probably stream till about till about six and then I probably drop that that video maybe the video is on fishing planet just just to cover that but yeah I dropped that video about 8 8 p.m. UK time GMT time zone so that's uh, Probably about two two hours thirty five minutes ish from now. I've been real busy finding good locations, showing new new parts in different lakes. I've been on the grind. There's a permit. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the permit. I don't know why. I just don't like the look of those fish. Just don't. It's not too bad because that being a thousand, that could buy. I look at it. That could buy me five more large minnows. That was a pretty good day. That was a pretty good day. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> We got 504 pounding on it, 646, and now we got another fish on. It's only permit though, I think. Yeah. Still good though. There you go, there's another five large minnows. So now we got 525 in our net, 648. That's some serious weight in such a short time. Jump to the next day. I'm gonna have to buy more large minnows. I'm down to five. <clears throat> but didn't have to keep buying large minnows. I'd be very rich very fast. But that's not bad. Five hundred and fifty-four thousand cash. That's really good. <clears throat> Spam that a few times. This is the only one good time when a controller is really good. There we go. 125. That'll keep us going for a little bit. Not including videos that I make, but just through streaming alone, I think I get through around anything from 300 large minnows to five, 600 large minnows. That's insane. That's a lot. There goes to show how much we're catching, though. That is a lot.
502, look at that. We've been fishing two minutes in game time, we get a hit. That's why that's why you have to change the next day. That that's That's exactly why I spent my own real money buying bait coins, because of this reason. This is a good This is a good experience of fishing. When you're catching fish after fish, it's not so good when on the other hand you're waiting five, ten minutes real time and not getting anything. Oh well. I'm actually quite surprised that we didn't freeze up there. It's done that a couple of times where I, my yesterday I think it did it like four times yesterday in total. I brought in a fish like that and I just had that circular motion and it stuck like that. It didn't do anything. It just stayed like that. That weren't good. set back out again right, now we can mess around with the spinning rod again does anybody know when the fireworks event is that's what I'm interested to know is say uh, I can't yeah I can't place here anytime I normally try and place them they always say I have to wait till the next event okay when is the event it doesn't even say when the event is I've got so many of those fireworks. When the event does come, I'm going to use them all. <laughs> I must have at least close to 50 of those. I've gifted my dad loads of those as well, because my dad plays Fishing Planet on PC. But I've got them for PC, and I've got them for console as well. I've got loads. I can only use them for the next event. I don't even know where the event is. I have no idea. That reeled in so easy on that last little bit. I think it gave us a good fight. 49 pound. I can't show it very long just because we've got another fish on. I don't wanna don't wanna lose that one. Is that tarpon? It looked like tarpon when it came out of the water. It could be permit though. It is permit. <laughs> can always tell by the fin on top of it. Always sticks out the water a little bit. That's really fast though. Really, really fast XP and cash. Look at that. We're at 514. And we got a hundred pound in our net already. And not what and that's not even any unique there. They're just different fish that we've caught. That's really good. That's fast XP and cash at its, at its best. You can't get better than that. Definitely not. We do earn some serious, serious money in Weeping Willow, that's for sure. Probably not as much XP as Blue Crab, but in one day, fishing one day in Weeping Willow, I can get around 90,000. That's a lot. I probably could get more cash here if I didn't mess around with Tarpon. If I only went for the other fish and left Tarpon, just went for the the other fish went for more bass and stuff rather than rather than going for that the tarpon this is a good one not moving at all look at that oh no it dropped down a little bit there oh we got a reel I don't know if it's permit or not I don't think it is there's no way permit can be this. Hmm, I, it, I don't know. I saw. I think I saw it. Okay. Try and get it to lift out the water so I can see it. Because if the other the other rods are going off, I'd rather get that if that's if this one's permit. No, that's tarpon. I see it. Don't forget, if you are enjoying Fishing Planet, drop a like on the stream, guys. It lets us know. Subscribe if you're new when them updates come. We push them updates to you as fast as we can. As fast as my internet can go. And I do have pretty fast internet. 
This is definitely a hundred pound plus. Definitely a hundred pound, at least. not moving at all I feel like I want to buy more of these float rods as well at some point because I do like these float rods they're good fun the heavy chaser is nice I can bully the fish a little more and bring it in quicker but I like these float rods because there's definitely a lot more more bend with the rod a lot more play in the rod I, like, I do like playing the fish not all the time sometimes I do the but with this rod being quite thin, the play in this rod is perfect. And this reel as well allows me to, to max it out and not put any damage on anything. That's a good tarpon though. Just have to keep an eye on those bars. That's fine, it being up that high is just not fine when they drop down too low. When they drop down too low, there's a chance you can lose it. I haven't lost many tarpon. I think the main time I've lost them is due in being due to me testing. Doing tests, checking certain reels, certain line to match perfect with that rod. That's what I, I like to do that a lot. I've done that with made different videos like that showing it's definitely unique, man. There's definitely unique for sure. But yeah, I've made different videos like that where showing best bait rods, best spin rods and stuff. And this float rod is, is really, really good. Makes me want, it definitely makes me want to get more. Getting the right reel with the right rod having good, the lines pretty much easy to work out but if you get the right reel with the right rod you can max it out and it stops it from running which is the best thing when it runs it's 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 a pain not only it can de-spool de -spool, but there's a good possibility it could pull you out really far you get out really far and then the fish turns around and swims towards you and there's so much slack on the line that that's it, you lose it, it's gone. I've been fighting this for a short minute though. It's definitely unique. It's a big fish. Alright, trippy man. Let me walk it over this way a little bit, see if it pulls it in any closer. Now let's walk back. Nah, this is a monster. I can't. <laughs> it's an absolute beast. There's nothing I can do. I'm just gonna have to keep on, uh, just keep on trying to play with it. I could reel and let out a bit of line, but there's not really much point. I know when I get this to about 20 feet, it would just pull. It would just pull it in. So I only need to reel in like about six foot. If I can reel in six more feet. It will end up grabbing it. 23, there you go. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Is it going to beat my record though? That's the question. No, it's not. That's not bad though. 126 pounds. Look at the XP. That's why I'm fishing in Blue Grab and not in Maku Lake. Because the XP is more here. And the cash, the cash is probably not more per each fish, no, but I can catch these really, really fast. I enjoy catching them tarpon. I've, I don't know how many tarpon I've caught. It's definitely been a lot. So if you haven't caught many tarpon yourself and you're fishing here and you've got premium, you probably will have more XP than what I'm getting just because I've farmed these tarpon a lot. I don't know how much, but I know I've caught a lot of them. That was a good fight though on that float rod. That was a really good fight. I like that.
Right, looks like I got some interest on that other rod that ended up here. That one ended up saying it timed out. It come back for it. For a different fish did. That's a red drum. You, you, if you put on a large cut bait and you cast around about here, you'll get a lot of red drum and black drum as well. Pretty good day so far. We've got another fish on. We're at 5.44. Now 5.45. We've got 302 pound in our net. Insanely fast fishing. At least it goes to show I don't clickbait though. When I say, whatever I say, it's always been honest. I don't, I don't believe in click, uh, clickbait. I think it's kind of silly to do that. But some people do do it. Me, myself, I don't. Every time I've said catching monster fish or showing new location or whatever, it's always been honest. Common snook. I don't really... Not a big fan of... I don't mind them, but I'm not a massive fan of catching them just because they don't give you too, too much XP or cash. But again, I have caught an insane amount of them. If you haven't caught as many as I have, you'll probably get more XP. And you'll get more cash. The more you catch the same fish over and over, if you, most of you probably do know, but some might not. The more you do catch the same fish, you do end up getting less XP and cash over time. Bonefish. I feel like there's definitely a lot more bonefish around as well. When I very first come into this place, I did manage to catch them off the dock, but here, yeah, it wasn't very often that I caught them here. It was, it was a strain. The reason why I like fishing this spot so much, though, is at the other spot off the deck, I can get over there. I can get some tarpon as well. And red drum and permit and black drum the same as what I can here but me using the spinner over there or a pop or anything I get more snook and more what was the other one that bone fish there there you go that's what I normally get most of but when I fish here at this location I can go for just specifically tarpon and Obviously, I am going to pull in a few drum. I am going to pull in a few permit, but I can use the popper here. If I use the popper at the other location, I don't get I don't get any tarpon at all. I don't know why. I've tried the popper at the other location so many times, and I never get tarpon. But be using the popper here, I can. And over that way as well. If I'm over that way, over there. I can get tarpon using this popper, but I can only, there's nowhere for me to stand, so I have to be on, I have to be on my boat fishing over there, but it's pretty quick though, it is a pretty, it is, even though it's only spinning, it is a pretty fast pace of catching, there is some really good hot spots in this place, another permit, and yeah, we've got another fish on, let's speed reel. If you are going for XP and cash and you ever got, pick up, if you've got quite a few rods out like I have, if you ever pick it up and you see it's not tarpon and you're after the XP and cash, put that rod down, pick up your other rod. That's what I do. Okay, snook, there's me talking about it. I also did a challenge as well. Again, I've got to edit and stuff. But I did a challenge on Fishing Planet. I challenged myself. I gave myself two minutes, uh, ten minutes, not two minutes. What am I talking about? I gave myself ten minutes to catch two unique fish. Different unique fish. Um, within ten minutes to catch both of those fish. That video is going to be coming tomorrow. The video today is to do with this popper, but 
yeah, tomorrow that the video tomorrow, the video that I made today, that's gonna come out today and tomorrow. I feel like they're they are really good videos. It is very hot, man. Yeah, it is very hot. <laughs> it's in, it's insanely hot. I think I am tomorrow. I think I am gonna need to put a fan. A fan near where I'm where I'm doing my stream. I don't really sweat out, but I don't want to get to the point where I do. <laughs> I definitely don't want to do that. It's, yeah, I don't sweat out, but I'm gonna put the tomorrow I am gonna put the fan here. I don't wanna be I don't wanna be streaming and sweating um Yeah, it's not It's not a thing that I want. I'm pretty sure other people don't want it as well. <laughs> There's a little bit on the rough side. Is it? A, a good temperature for me, I like. I like about. I like 10 Celsius. That's what I like. 10 Celsius is nice. That's what I like. At 10 Celsius, I can walk around, shorts and t shirt. Not feel too hot, not feel cold. Yeah, 10 Celsius for me is good. This one could be could be a good one. No, it's not. Not, not as big as I thought. Still though, look at that. That is insane. 609, we got 492 pounds in our net. You cannot get cash and XP that quick. Anywhere. Definitely not. Yeah, 10 Celsius is good for me. That's what I like. <clears throat> Unfortunately, uh, yeah, it's definitely, I can definitely feel the heat for sure. I definitely do. It don't help that I'm wearing my hat. Wearing, wearing my hat, keeping the heat in my head. That doesn't help. It's good that we're still we're still getting more fish. This is a really good day. Another permit. I don't mind that it's not a monster as long as we keep on adding weight. That takes us over five hundred pound now. I honestly thought that I dropped that fish because it didn't show up the weight in the net straight away. It, it has now five hundred and twelve pounds. Six six fourteen five hundred and twelve pound. That's that's really fast XP and cash. Let's see some more movement there. I want to jump to the next day so I can we can keep catching fast, but we're doing all right. We are doing all right. We're still pulling them fish all the time. We keep on getting hits. I don't need to change. that a drum? A uh, snook. Nice. 523 pound in on it. Start at 5, 6, 17. That's, that's, <laughs> that's when you, that's when you play the game to its best. That is when it's good. When you can get that amount in such a short time, not just in weight, but the amount of XP and cash we get for such a short time. That's really good. I'm pretty sure if I did stay this day longer, I'm pretty sure we would have more. I did have a bit of interest there. I don't know. If, okay, I was on that rod. Let's wait for a second. I'm very, I'm very sure that we would definitely get more hits. It's actually not a bad day, but... I know by me jumping to the next day, we get it faster. And it's all about that speed, about that pace. The quicker we're catching, the time that I spend here fishing the rest of that day, I could spend another 30, 40 minutes, maybe even an, an hour real time till I get that net full. Whereas if I could go to the next day and I catch a fish instantly. 
Not instantly, but almost instantly. Sometimes it is instantly, though. So instead of me using the spinning rod, another thing... Look at that, we've got interest straight away. Instead of me using the spinning rod, another thing I could do is put four heavy chasers out. And keep the, the float rod in my hand as well. So that way I have five sets of bait rods out there. But I like messing around with the spinning rod. Them heavy chasers are really good rods. They definitely are the most tankiest bait rod there is. But I do enjoy catching on the float rod and as well as the spinner. Look how fast. 503 and we got a fish and there's more interest. That's exactly why I spend real money. That's probably a little bit too early. Okay, no, it's still there. That was lucky. I should have waited a little bit longer for that to run, really, because I could have ended up losing that. Trophy common snook. Look at that. We changed the next day. Hit after hit after hit. Never take... It should never take too long to catch. If it's taken you too long, you're not doing it right. And that's coming from someone who's played this game for four years. I know it should not take long. No matter... Not just this lake, but any lake. Any lake that you fish, if it's taking you too long... Yeah, not doing it right. It should not take very long. It's a, it's a tarpon. Jumping like a good one. When I play this game, when it's a day like how it is today, it's so hot outside and I'm playing this game, it really, really makes me want to go fish in real life. It really does. It really makes me want to go fish real life. It's such a nice day outside. The other rods are going. That's a unique. 125. I'm sorry I can't show it very long. Just because we got another fish on. But that's how, that's how we're going to get some serious money and cash fast. Just keep jumping days. As soon as it slows down, jump to the next day. Keep catching those. Look at that, 511. We got 230 pound in on it. <laughs> we started at 5 and it's 511. That's as long as the pace carries on, we keep catching at that fast pace. Sometimes it does. Sometimes we do carry on catching as quick as that, but then every now and again, that fast pace does slow down. But that's really, really quick. There's no other place where you can do it as quick as what you can here. Weeping Willow does come pretty, pretty close to it. I've got to be honest. It does come pretty close. But being close to it and catching as fast as what you can is a big difference. Catching fast, getting good XP, getting good cash. I was thinking that the the new uh, uh, the new Maku Lake was going to be the ultimate XP and cash grind, but it turns out that's not the case. See, that's not too bad. That was not a very big fish, just over one thousand XP, over one and a half thousand cash. And good thing is, because that weren't a big fish, you could fit a lot of those in your net. <clears throat> Just got to quickly do something real quick.
I know my music stopped, but I'm just quickly checking something. There you go, we're, we're all good. <clears throat> oh well, we had a bit of a freeze there. It's a shame that's the only one thing that is a little bit of a pain is sometimes when you're fishing and you catch sometimes you can catch like that so fast you catch at a really really fast pace and then all of a sudden it just dies off and nothing you get literally near nothing that is a pain when, when it's like that you catch really fast and then it dies off but when it does die off like that I don't waste time. I don't waste time waiting. I will go to the next day. And now it's one of those days, so I, I kind of time myself. So we're now at 5.25, so I'm going to wait till 5.35. And by 5.35, if we haven't had a hit, I will change to the next day. I do see movement around in the water, so I know there is interest there. But I like to keep an eye on the time. Because I don't want to spend too much time waiting. Look at that! I can pull. I can pull this in from so far out. That's awesome. That's another unique, is it? Oh, now it's close though. Even that being seventy-four pounds, some really good XP. Good cash. This is going to be a good day's fish. 528 we got 339 pound in our net we got a fish on here we got some interest on those rods as well this one's a big tarpon but i think yeah it is this is a insane day another 78 pounds <laughs> 418 pound in our net started at 5 530 there is no place that is going to beat that amount of cash and xp That's crazy. Hopefully we keep the pace going like that. I'd like to see how much we have by six. That is a lot. It's a lot, but not just by cash, uh, not just by weight, but by cash and XP. You can probably get more weight than that in your net within a shorter time in the Maku Lake because the fish are bigger but you wouldn't get the same amount of cash and XP definitely not that is it's a shame it don't show me the XP there it just shows me the cash 22,000 we've got 553,000 cash alright so instead of me using the Instead of me using this spinning rod, I'm going to keep this float rod in my hand. That way it's an extra bait rod out there. See if we can try and get... See how much we can get by six. Okay, this is a permit, so I'm going to speed reel. That was 18 and a half pound. I didn't show it very long because I got another one going. I'm interested to see how much weight I can get by six. No, another small one. That's all right, though. Four, 459 in the net. We're at 537. That's a lot. Right, we got five bait rods out now. Look how much that floats moving around. Oh, I'm feeling that heat. 
Why is it so hot? I'm feeling that heat. I should get one of those little, little like um, USB fans because <clears throat> my PC is like right here. I, you, I, yeah, you can't really see it, but my PC is right here. My USBs are very, very close. I could plug in a fan and just point it in my direction. It's not a bad idea. Instead of me using a really, really big fan, I don't want to use a big fan just in case I get distortion from the mic. Because obviously it'd be standing over that way, and they'd be blowing through. I don't want it to sound funny. Right, I'm gonna reel that in. I'm gonna use the sp the uh, spinning rod. I don't. I can't. I don't like it. It's too slow when I'm when I'm doing that. I like to keep doing something. We got some interest out there though. That float. Look how much that floats moving. I honestly thought that was going to be the float rod that went off. That float moved right over to the left and went right over to the right. Oh no. There goes the float. I'm trying to speed reel this. There we go. 27 pound permit. We're at 546, started at 5, we've got 487 pounds, that's absolutely bonkers. That's insane how fast that is. When you do catch this fast though, that's what does make you, it definitely does make you enjoy the game that little bit more. Again, I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet or anything, but this Blue Crab Saltwater Pack, it's definitely a good thing to buy. Not only are you going to get a good boat, a spinning rod, a reel, 28 days to fish here, uh, 38, de 30, oh my gosh, 30 days to fish here, and 30 days premium, yeah, 30 days premium, 30 days to fish here, but it did kick me out after 28 days. That could have been a glitch. That could be the way it is for everybody, I don't know. But it gave me some different lures, a spinning rod, a reel, a boat, cash, gold coins. I'd say it's worth it. I'd probably say it's the best, the best DLC that I've brought. I have brought a few different DLCs over the past, but this Blue Crab Island DLC is definitely, definitely the best DLC I've brought. It's a shame that I can't get this, the rod that I'm holding my in my hand. It's a shame I can't get this rod with this Blue Crab Island. Because then that would be the very, the ultimate best. Because this being the new best rod. Don't forget if you guys are enjoying the stream, drop a like. Let's us know you are enjoying Fishing Planet. When them new updates come for Fishing Planet, we download, install, and push them updates out to you, showing you new fish, new DLCs, boats, rods, reels, map, anything that Fishing Planet has to offer. <laughs> that could be a good one. I don't think it's unique, but it's a good one. Uh, maybe not. Nobody saw that. Wow, five fifty-five. Nearly one hour in game time, not real time. 540 pounds in the net. That is the fastest way to get XP and cash. For real, it really is. As well as fishing the new lakes and some of these best lakes, when we do live stream, every now and again I am going to drop back to those smaller lakes as well. Not just showing you all the new stuff. Once I've showed you all the new stuff, I am then obviously going to drop back to some of the other lakes just because there is... A few people that ask me to fish the lower level lakes to show them hot spots and just so that way we're not fishing catching the same fish over and over and over <sighs> I 
<laughs> and subscribe, yeah. <laughs> That's probably the most important one. That's good though. Six o'clock now. We start at five, six o'clock. Five hundred and forty pound in a net. In one game hour. That's not real time. That's insanely a uh, good amount of weight right there. We'll have a look see how much XP it gives us in a minute. We're going to jump to the next day. Burn another bait coin. Why not? Whoa, that fish got some height. So a lot of the time, I can't be bothered to bring all the rods in. So it's what I do is I go to my boat. I get in my boat. Then I get back out of my boat. And then I picked everything up. It saves me picking up one rod at a time. And it saves me, yeah. <laughs> it's a shame they don't actually, like there is, it's a shame there isn't a button that can make you look at it. And make you pick everything up. That would be really good. Wrong button. Twenty-eight thousand cash in one hour, not real time, in game time, within one hour. Twenty-eight thousand cash, fourteen thousand XP. That's seriously fast. That is seriously quick. Now I could have stayed there. And I could have carried on fishing. I'm pretty sure I would have still caught more. But it wouldn't be as quick as me changing to the next day. Me changing to the next day is going to gonna make us get hits quicker again. If I weren't live streaming, I probably would stick it out and just wait that little bit longer. But whilst live streaming to keep it, to keep it entertaining and to keep them fish coming in. It's good. Not only it's good for to make. Not only it looks good, but I'm earning some serious money right now. The XP I'm level 60, so it don't matter. But I am earning some serious money. I'm guessing this is going to be a permit. Our first fish is always a permit. No, it's a drum, I think. Okay, snook. It's normally always a permit first. <laughs> they say when it gets towards the evening time, which for me right now is nearly five past six. They say when it comes to the evening, it gets a lot more cooler. It feels like it's getting hotter. The one thing is, I don't know if you guys have it, but when it gets, like I have problems sleeping anyway, I've had that my whole life, but when it gets so hot, I can't sleep. I can, I literally cannot sleep at all. Last summer when it got so hot, I remember streaming. I just streamed all night because I just, I couldn't sleep. It was too hot. It was so hot, I just, I didn't bother sleeping. And I just streamed the whole night. <laughs> night after night. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Somebody just asked me, do I fancy going out for a drive on my motorbike? And I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that because I don't have the money. I need to buy a new battery. I would really like to though. It's really nice. It is really nice. Not that I have the money yet, but I am going to ring around. I'm going to ring around a few shops tomorrow. And see if there is a shop around. I've got, I've got to ring a shop. Ring a few shops. See if, see if they actually have a battery for me. The battery is probably going to be about about 40, 50 pound. Welcome to the stream, Jane. 
Yeah. About, but because I'm buying it from the shop, I can't see it. Like, if there is a shop that is able to have a battery for me to buy it, then. Yeah, I know. I could reply though, because I'm streaming. If I never reply, you know that I'm a streamer. But yeah, I'm going to ring up around a few shops tomorrow. See if I'm able to buy a battery from a shop for my bike. If I can't, and then I'm going to have to order one online. If I order one online, it'd probably be about £30. But then i got to wait ages for it to turn up. If I go to a shop, there's quite a lot of motorbike shops in, in all around where I live so there's like one two three four there's probably about five shops close to me that I can think of that I could probably walk give me a bit of exercise <laughs> but yeah there's probably about five different shops I could go to at least one of them got to have a motorbike battery for my bike at least one that's where you come in because you thought I was live yeah but I don't reply I don't reply to a message. Most of the time, I would be live. Oh wow! There you go. That was in real close. Whew. Thirty pound tarpon. We'll take it. Finally, I got you. I got you. I got you, Kenji. You ain't got me, I got you. How's it going, man? The update's out for PS4. Did you buy the DLC? Yeah, it's out right now, yeah. Loads of people have been coming in saying the update. They're doing the update for Fishing Planet and PS4. I was going to stream saying ps4 update for fishing planet but i don't have the money to buy the to buy the new lake uh to buy the dlc to get into the new lake and i don't have money for premium i've got premium on pc but i don't have p premium on ps4 so i don't want there's no it's too painful for me to grind whilst not having premium i can't do that Yeah, that's too painful, so I'll, um, I think I'm just going to stick with playing PC for a little bit until I get, get some more cash, and then I will, I definitely will. I am going to be playing PS4, but just not, not all the time I don't have premium. And I've got premium on here, so right now I'm actually earning good money for this game. After buying that bass boat, I bought the bass boat, after buying that. This could be another good day. We're at 526. We've got nearly 200 pounds in our net, but I see a lot of interest there. You only need that one or two fish to make it a really good day. To catch a lot. Uh, there was something about a take that lure as well, I think. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Never come and snook. How are we doing for catch? 579,000. That's crazy, man. Only three gig. I should turn my PS4 on. And do the update. So that way I don't... When I do decide to play it, that way I don't have to wait for it. You need to wait eight minutes. Mine's... Yeah. For three gig, mine would probably be about... Probably about 60 seconds. <laughs> Anything between 60 seconds to 2 minutes. It won't be more than that. That was a really weird cast. We threw that sideways. Give me one second, I just can't quickly reply to a message. I 
I hate it when you write something and it ends up spelling something else. Such a pain. Ah, there we go. Okay, 535, 207 pound there. Slowing down, if this pace don't pick up, we're gonna change day. I can't wait until about 9, 10, 10 p.m. tonight when it cools off, it gets, it gets cooler. I really can't wait. This is a good one. Oh wow. Whoa, that is a big tarpon. Whoa. Oh no, that slack. I've lost audio in that headphone again. I'm gonna stick with this one. This is definitely a big fish. Oh, there we go. If we can get it in there. Yes, come on. I might be able to get the other one. That's a big one. Whoa, 139 pounds. That's some seriously good cash and XP there. See what I mean? You just need that. You just need that big fish, and it can make your slow day turn around. Five forty-two, three hundred and sixty-seven in the net. That's not too bad. That, that fish definitely made up for it. it. Took up a big, big amount of space. So by the time we finish this day, we should be close to or over. Yeah. Over 600,000 cash. We've made some serious money today. Some serious cash. Nice, nice one. It was, yeah, that was a good fish. We got some interest again. I quite like it when it does that sometimes. You pick up the rod and it just, you got full tension there and everything. It looks like a monster fish and then all of a sudden it just, you manage to reel it in really easy. <laughs> That's unique though. Definitely unique. There we go. All right, Kenji. It's hot today. <laughs> I was sending a message. <clears throat> Phones and streams together don't work well. Alright, we are going to jump to the next day. It's not been bad. And it's not our best day, but it's not bad. We got like. 402, 553. That's pretty decent. I feel like my legs are too big. They always hit my desk. I definitely am going to get a different desk.
There we go. That ain't gonna make me stay longer for this day though. Even if every single rod went off right now, it still ain't gonna make me stay any longer for this day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You could always give me a good laugh, Trippy, man. Whether it's me streaming or us playing together, you always do give me a good laugh. Such a good laugh that you just made me cast that rod and I didn't even know. A new desk or, a, or get shorter legs? I think I will have to go for the uh, <laughs> the new desk, I think. <laughs> Alright, we'll have one more run again. Let's go to the next day. Twenty two thousand, eleven thousand XP. Yeah, we're doing for large minnows. Well, we've got eighty five left, that's not too bad. Right, so that should take us above six hundred thousand now, let's see. Oh wow, that's really close though. Five hundred and ninety seven thousand. Me buying that boat yesterday was like it's almost like I got it for free. I think if I fish here, maybe three more days. Three more days, and it would be like I got that bass boat for free. I would have got my money back from what I've spent. spinning rod again I'm not gonna use the bait rod I, I do enjoy using the I do enjoy using this spinning rod I'd rather use a spinning rod than rather keep a bait rod in my hand keeps me doing something hundred and sixty million that's crazy, man. That's a lot, a lot of saving. <laughs> 160 million. Even with a new character, I still have that money because it carries over. Yeah, it does, yeah. That's a lot of cash. That's a lot of cash. Have you ever brought money for GTA? You know, like you can buy shark cards and stuff. Have you ever done that? Oh wow, that was so glitchy there. <laughs> so my dog always my dog always lives with a blanket she's pulled the blanket off the off the couch pulled it over pulled the blanket this is how smart my dog is she's pulled the blanket it's like a it's when i say blanket it's, an, it's like a it's a double double blanket that you would sleep with quilt cover so she's pulled it over near the door near the uh, near the balcony she's pulled it over and she's laid down on top of that blanket to make it soft that's a smart dog right there <laughs> how's it going michael welcome to the stream man only once back in the old days for ps3 and the tank become available to buy. I don't. I have spent, as I say, I wouldn't like to know how much money of real money I've spent on this game. I would, that would be very scary to know. 
I would like to know, but in some ways I wouldn't. But for GTA, I don't think I've ever... The only money I've ever spent towards playing GTA is where my internet stopped working at one point on PS3. My internet stopped working and because it was because it stopped working, I can buy these. I, I'm not bothering with that, Rob. That's so stupid. It's only a permit. Yeah, so I can buy like free. I can not free Wi-Fi, but there's a free Wi-Fi that I can connect to and then I pay I think it's something like £10 a week for internet it doesn't give me much data I think it's only about 4 gig of data and I brought quite a bit of that that's the only thing I've ever spent for GTA is buying data but that was only because my internet was down what other games do I stream? random stuff man <laughs> I do moto blogs. I stream. I'm gonna be once I get a new motorbike battery. I'm gonna be streaming driving around on my motorbike. Um, I stream Snowrunner, Fishing Planet. I was gonna stream GTA 5 today and do some stunt races, but we didn't have many people. I didn't have anyone online. I have no friends. <laughs> no, I had nobody online at that point, so I couldn't. I couldn't play. And then I thought, okay, I stream Snowrunner. There wasn't anybody on for me to play that. Um, I've streamed Ark before. Ark Survival. I've streamed Gran Turismo Sport. Bus Simulator. Zombie Army. Uh, quite a few different games. <laughs> the random way. Yeah. I do do random stuff. Fishing Planet is better anyway. <laughs> You're a big fan of Fishing Planet. This is probably the main game that I do play. Well, not probably. This is the main game that I do play. But, yeah, every now and again, I do upload random videos every now and again. I do do different types of live streams. Fishing Planet is the main thing, but... I do like to put different content there as well. Just so it's not always the same thing. I went past it. So the video that we dropped tonight just to mention again that is about an hour 25 no an hour 35 minutes from now 8 p.m. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that drop that video it is a video of fishing planet it's me using this popper but in a different type of way normally I would drop that at 6 but because I'm still streaming I haven't bothered to drop it I probably could have dropped that whilst being live but yeah, I'll bring it. I'll bring it a little later. <laughs> so we're at five twenty-nine, hundred and twenty-two pound in our net. There we go. The rod's finally woken up. I was gonna say now I'm gonna start timing it to see how long until we get our next fish. I don't want to wait too long. But just as I was going to say that, the rod went off. So we can definitely catch on, on the sunny and cloudy day. We can definitely catch, but it's nowhere near. It definitely is nowhere near as quick as what it is with the, with the just sunny day. I feel like that is the case, but then I say that, but then sometimes I, I actually do better on the sunny and cloudy day. I don't know which one's best. It's really hard to... I don't know. Cloudy days sometimes better. Sunny, sunny days sometimes better. I think it's just random. We're on day 41, though. <clears throat> We've done some serious fishing. Which means serious XP and serious cash. Uh, 
interesting one. Let's have a look. So, yeah, not much for that day. I feel like I want to. I feel like I want to jump to the next day. That is, it's just, it's one of those days where it's not a good day. 135 pound on our net, we're at 536. That's how we always make really fast XP and X cash because we don't mess around on days that are just basically not doing anything. Oh. Can I? There we go. She's now pulled the blanket really close to the balcony. And she's pushed the blanket to one corner. And now she's laying on it. So it makes it more comfy. <laughs> That's a smart dog. Oh wow, I'm quite far back there. That wouldn't have been a very far cast, but... You do catch these tarpon in pretty close as well, so. Them markers there, just to mention, I don't, it's not like I try and, they're, they're not my markers. Somebody else gave me those markers. I don't cast to those, I just pretty much just cast anywhere. As long as it's straightforward and it's anywhere between 40 to 50 feet, it works really fast. <clears throat> How's it going, Judy? Good to see you again. Then your house is a hurricane. How's it going, Gary? Good to see you again, man. It's a hurricane in your house. <laughs> what, what makes your house... <laughs> what makes it a hurricane? Okay, this could be a good one. We got it stuck on the on the side there, so that was easy to reel in. Oh, 87 pound. I'm sorry I can't show it very long. Oh, that's so loud. Absolutely burst my ears. Permit. See, this is why we jump to the next day. We don't waste time. As long as you, whenever you get downtime, if you hurry up, jump to the next day, you're going to earn some serious money. You can tell me a story. All right. Honestly, it did look like it did look like it was uh, gonna be unique. It did look like a good size. <laughs> Your comment there. Your comment, Trippy. That's too funny, man. You're thinking the wrong things. You're thinking the wrong things. <laughs> uh. So you woke up and they said there was a tropical storm. And now it's rained at least five, four to five inches so far. Whoa, that's a lot of rain. That's a lot of rain. And where, where I live, I've got like this, um, this like porch thing. And every time it rains, it always fills up with water. It always fills up with water. Only with, not, not every single time it rains, but I mean like if it rains heavy, if it rains heavy, then it fills up with rain and um, it can't walk through there. Without getting without getting wet feet, there's no way I can walk through. The water does get quite deep as well. South Carolina. Wish we had some. It would, yeah. I honestly thought that last night, 
I, I would have thought we would have had a few storms last night. To, normally when we get really hot weather, we get a few storms that follow. Clear the air. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Isn't that like a hurricane alley? I'm going to try and speed reel this so I can get the next one. Never tarpon. Come on. It's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. No, it's there. That's the permit. So that's pretty that's pretty quick. We're at 519, we've got 226 in our net. That's not including any unique there. Let's see how much cash we how much cash we've got. We definitely got over six hundred thousand now. Let's see. Six hundred and one thousand. That's awesome. So I need about another about another hundred thousand or just under. And then the bass boat we brought was free. <sighs> Have to stay in for so long. I feel like at this point, I think everybody's probably stayed in the most longest anyone ever has. Like ever. So you're not alone on that one. That's for sure. <clears throat> was really humid last night it was lovely and sunny again today it's been cloudy all day for me and then i think towards like 4 5 p.m we started to have a little bit of sun now it's gone cloudy again it's been cloudy most of the day but yeah really really humid here today like crazy humid Yeah, you're not in the UK, Judy. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I used to do that. I always used to go, my auntie used to always take me out in her car. We used to just, when it was really nice weather, we used to go to the beach or just drive around or whatever. And when we first got in our car, all the seats were leather. Oh gosh, we used to get a, take a towel with us and put the towel on the seat. It being that hot, you literally will be stuck to that seat. For real, you'd, yeah, you'd be stuck. And then when you move away, whew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, it was so hot as well. Should get in the car. And open up all the windows, open the sunroof, and even though we'd be driving around, it would it would take a good, I would say about at least 30 minutes before it gets to a point where it is actually nice and cool. Unless you put the the aircon on, obviously in the car, then yeah, it would make a difference. But we couldn't use the aircon very much because the car was old, and if we used the the aircon too much. It would make the car overheat. <laughs> and then we had to use to pull over and empty out the water. Well, the water would have drained out. Then we have to refill it back up every time. So we couldn't we could only use the aircon in the in the summer for a certain amount of time. We couldn't use it too long. Because yeah, we just have to keep pulling over. It's been raining for so long. It's like one tenth for you. Been the same here, whereabouts in the UK. I'm from Brighton and Hove. With, if you don't know Brighton and Hove, it's about an hour away from London. You're up at North East. Send some rain this way. <laughs> I like it. Do you know what? It's, it's really... Even though it... it I wouldn't say really dangerous, but it is a little bit more dangerous driving in the rain, especially on the motorbike, but I do love driving in the rain. 
When I'm on my motorbike, I love, I love driving. People say, what's the point? You get wet through. But once you're wet, it's not like you can get any more wet. That's it. The same, is, same goes when you go outside and it's raining. Like one, Once you're saturated, what else can you do? <laughs> There's, it don't matter. You can't get any more wet. I'll try. You can't do that. Your head office was Trafalgar Place in Brighton. I don't know Trafalgar Place, man. Trafalgar Place is in Brighton. Mm, I don't think I've heard of it. I live in I live in Hove, so I know Hove more and know Shoreham more, rather than I do know Brighton, but I know I know Hove a lot more than Brighton. I'm not sure where I'm not sure where that is though. Oh you're up north as well Michael. What bike do you have? I've had many many different motorbikes over the years man. <laughs> At the minute I've got a Yamaha Cygnus but I was gonna do a live stream on it the other day driving around but I can't because my batteries died in the bike because because of the coronavirus me not going out on the bike not using it i did take the battery off charged it up after i took it off charge the battery died within seconds so the cells are dead the battery is about eight and a half years old though so because of that i gotta buy a new motorbike battery which is going to set me back around 40 50 pound and i don't have the money for it just yet so unfortunately the moto blogs are going to stop <laughs> the moto blogs are going to stop for a little bit. But once I do have maybe like two, three weeks, I hopefully should have some money then. And then I'll buy a new battery. And then uh, we'll make more moto blogs and we'll be driving around. I definitely want to do a live stream because I, I brought a new phone. Well, not brought a new phone. I got a new phone on contract because it was ready for an upgrade. And then I brought these power banks. This power bank was like £10. And then I got another power bank, which is here. So I got two power banks, which would be good for me to live stream while driving around. I'm not going to be able to read chat all the time, but I am going to make sure that I have moderators there to keep it, to make sure it stays family friendly and nothing, nothing pops up that shouldn't pop up. But I'm not, I wouldn't be able to read chat all the time. That's why I'm going to make sure moderators are there. I'm not going to be able to read chat the whole time and I will still be able to read it here and there like when I pull over at traffic lights and stuff I'll be able to quickly read it. So I can definitely do that. And every now and again I might just, as I'm driving I might just pull over and just start reading chat. But yeah I got a Yamaha Cygnus um, fuel injection as well. So it's, it's a nice bike. It is a really nice bike. Somebody's bike I didn't say anything because it wasn't technically his fault, but someone's bike fell onto my bike. So this is a bit of a pain because I've got to buy a new battery and at some point now I do need to buy a new seat. The, the seat's not a major, major thing. I can, you know, I can always stick a bit of the good old duct tape, slap it on there for a, for a while until I got money for that. But Because <laughs> I'm out of action with the bat without a battery. The battery is so flat, I tried kickstart and it wouldn't even kickstart, so that's how that's how bad the battery is. You disagree? <laughs> Why do you, once you're wet though, you can't get any more wet. If you're driving around on a motorbike and you're saturated, like you can't get more wet, Trippy. Like, I mean so wet that your so your socks have got to the point where they're getting a little damp and you, the inside of your jacket's damp. Like, once you're that wet, like, you can't get wetter, can you? Under your leather jacket. I, can, I don't think my jacket, I've, I don't think I've really got so much wet underneath my jacket. It has been, you're right though, on the boots though. I have on my boots. 
Nothing worse than wet, soggy feet while driving. Yeah. <laughs> Are they? I have no idea. <laughs> Why is that? I should read the message out actually, rather than just responding, because otherwise people don't know what I'm, who I'm talking to. So laugh out loud, I dread to think carrying a 32 inch TV to read chat while you're driving around. <laughs> yeah I could there is different devices and stuff you can get different different types of cameras for live streaming but me having that new phone as a contract I know that battery in that phone is going to be good and then I got two power banks as well so I should be able to stream for at least a good few hours I would have thought at least I could probably get at least a three hour stream by driving around. I was stuck with the same phone for... I had the iPhone 6 forever, man. And then the other day I was thinking to myself... Well, not, well, not the other day, like last week or the week before. I was thinking, I'm due for an upgrade on my contract. I haven't upgraded it. it only, it's only going to cost me £50 to upgrade it, which would give me... My, the iPhone 6 is slow, man. It is really, really slow. I do fish in real life, yet. Yeah. The iPhone is really slow. And um, the battery is terrible. So I thought if I get a new phone, and then that, that way I, I could... I would be able to do a live stream whilst driving around. But I got the iPhone 11, and I got it in gold. Um, gold on the side. And then a bright yellow on the back and that is really 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 bright I remember having the iPhone what was it I think it was the iPhone 5 that I had once before in yellow it is nice getting a new contract but that cost me like 50 pound a month 54 pound a month I don't really use my phone that much to 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 spend £54 a month, but I get a new phone out of it, so I might as well. You should watch them. Yeah. You got the iPhone 8 Plus. It's not. Yeah, it should be, Gary. A lot of people are saying. A lot of people are saying that they they've, they've got the update. When when they did the update, just to mention, when they did do the update for PC, they didn't do. There wasn't like a download. There, there's not a download. You just go on it, and the map's there. So if you're expecting to see a download, there's not a download. Yeah, it's out on Xbox and it's out now on PS4. And a lot of people said it has it has come out on PS4. It won't be it won't be a download. You don't need to download anything. You just go on your PS4 and this is a monster. Yeah, you go on there. You're not missing much, to be honest, man. You're not missing much. It is a lovely place. It does look really nice, but the XP and cash in that place. The cash is not too bad, but the XP is terrible. And I am going to keep complaining about the XP just because people who are grinding, they're going there to grind. It's the wrong place to go. Whoa! That's my new personal record. Yes, let's go! Oh my gosh. 152 pounds. Oh my god. That's my personal record. I got to clip that. I got to clip that. That's a clip, boys and girls. Wow. Whew. At any time that can happen. Look at the XP. You don't get XP like that in any other lake you you fish. That's why I fish here. Oh my god. My heart is pounding right now. <laughs> 152 pound tarpon. 
9,176 XP. Again, the XP is not, not important to us, but B. But the, the cash, 8,289. That's our record. That's our record fish. In Tarpon, anyway. Our biggest fish is 216, but for Tarpon, whoa. 152 pounds. That's insane. I can't believe that. That is. What a fish. Oh my god. 152 pounds. I think my biggest before that was. What was my biggest before that? I think it was. Um. I think it was 148, I think it was. But if you want to get XP and you're catching fish that size, <laughs> whoa, you will level up quick. That is, that was a big fish. That was a big fish. Our new record fish. That's awesome. Although my iPhone 8 Plus battery is is cringe, it shows the battery at 86% health. Nice catch, man. Nice catch, big. The XP is almost like the money. Yeah, the XP for these Tarpon are insane. That's why I put fastest XP and fastest cash. I don't click, but it's honest. This is, Blue Crab is the quickest, fastest possible way. You definitely get more XP than any other place that you fish. That's that's the the most important thing, the XP. Maybe I need to leave Blue Crab Island to see it. Nice fish. And you're gonna have a beer to celebrate. That's that was worth celebrating, man. That's my new record now. That's a clip. That's gonna make a good video. That's a good that's gonna make a good video. 152 pound tarpon. I think the biggest on the leaderboards is like a hundred and one fifty five, I think. So that's that's put us back on the leaderboard, that's for sure. You're going to take a nap. All right, Judy. Thanks for popping in. <clears throat> what level do you need to be to fish here? This is why I love blue crab so much. So you've got to be level 54, but you can... You can fish here even if you're not level 54. If you buy a DLC called um, Saltwater Pack, Saltwater Pack, see you later, Judy. Saltwater Pack uh, for Blue Crab Island, it will give you 30 days to fish here, 30 days for premium. It will give you cash, gold coins, it will give you a spinning rod, a reel. It will also give you the best boat on the game as well. So, it does cost £30. It is, it's not the cheapest DLC there is, that's for sure. But, for £30, you do get an insane amount. It doesn't matter what level you are. If you buy this DLC, you can fish here. 30 days. Really nice place. And I know that, obviously... Fishing in the Maku Lake. Yeah, I've caught fish at 216 pounds. They are bigger. I could fish there. I could beat my record. But I'd rather be fishing here. Just because of the cash. The XP also. But then I don't need XP. So that means nothing to me. But the cash. The cash and XP. This is absolutely insane place. This is what kept happening yesterday. Oh, okay. Come back. 
I was gonna say my game just done that. I don't know if you guys see that. My whole thing just froze up and it stayed like that. You want yeah, this spinning rod and reel. This is you don't get this spinning rod and reel for the DLC pack for Blue Crab Island. This rod and reel I got from you can either buy it with in game money. Or if you want to get this rod and reel, you can buy the you can buy the DLC for the new Maku Lake. If you buy the new DLC for the Maku Lake, it'll give you this rod and this reel. But you can buy it with in-game money. So if you buy the DLC for the Maku Lake, that uh, give you seven days premium, seven days to fish there. This rod reel, and it will give you some swim baits, some different stuff, but. In my personal opinion, I don't really think it's worth buying it. I did buy it just to show, obviously, when new stuff comes out on Fishing Planet, I try and bring that content fast to show everybody. But by me buying that means that I wasted my money. You could do yourself a favor and not buy it. I'd say this Blue Crab Island DLC is worth it, but the Maku Lake is not worth it. It's definitely not worth it. By me wasting my money it means you didn't have to spend yours. It's not worth it. Your biggest fish so far is like 35 pounds. That's, that's because you're a low level though, man. The more you keep playing the game and you progress through... I would, Every person who plays this were at that stage where their biggest fish was half a pound or two pound. I remember once I posted a, a screenshot... Um, I'm not going to get into too much detail about it, but I posted a screenshot of a striped bass. This was a many, many years ago. <laughs> and um, I think it was about, I don't know, about 48 pound striped bass. And I put that screenshot onto Steam saying, whoa, you know, striped bass, unique. And this is where I caught it and how I caught it. And the first comment that I got made me almost wet myself <laughs> the first comment i got was saying you're a complete noob wow you're a complete noob that's that's the comment i get for trying to show someone how and where to catch a stripe unique bass i'm a complete noob that's the comment i got some people are just ungrateful huh some people are just ungrateful Yeah. You're level 30, I just can't save money. I have that problem, man. <laughs> I think everyone who plays this game a lot has that problem. They earn that money and they spend it quicker than what they can earn it. Yeah. But once you get... Once you can go to Sand Delta or Michigan, they're, they're two really good places where you can earn really, really good money pretty fast and then when you're able to get to here this is where you're gonna get rich this place is gonna make you rich this place has got me over a million cash quite a few times and it's also I've also able to buy the bass boat and now I've got 601,000 cash before I brought this that bass boat I had nearly 700,000 now I've got 601 it's like I almost got that boat for free. By the time I finish, by the time I finish live streaming and making them other videos that I've got to edit, I would have made my money back today. That boat, I basically got it for free. <laughs> Chilling in the sunshine, nice. Unfortunately, I'm not going to run the stream on a lot longer, guys. Just because I've been streaming now like 4 hours 20. And if I wasn't going to post out a video, then I probably would. I probably would run the stream longer. But I want to get that video out tonight by 8pm. And that is it's a good video. So I'll fish... For a little bit longer, not much longer though. 
because I need to get that video out. And then I gotta edit another video. And then I'm gonna play a little bit of GTA. Maybe I might get some good video clips with Trippy. And we'll be back live streaming again tomorrow, so yeah. How expensive is the boat in the How expensive is the boat in game cash? Some of them are pretty cheap. Some of them are. But then some of them are ridiculous, man. The bass boat now, I it cost me just under 400,000 cash. But when I very, very first brought that boat bass, uh, bass boat on PS4 for the very first time, I think it was, it was very close to 800,000 cash. It was very, very close. It's, so it has got cheaper. It has got cheaper as time has gone on. It definitely has got cheaper, but yeah. I think it was like 798,000 cash I paid for it. That's many, many hours of fishing. That's a lot, a lot of hours fishing. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of fishing. But by me selling the other boat, at least it means I didn't have to spend my real money for a little bit. For like a week or two, by me selling the, the best boat. As I say, I did make a video on that. But yeah, by me selling that best boat, Gave me 500 gold coins plus the coins that I had. Gave me near 600 gold coins. It means that I don't have to spend my actual real money from my own pocket on this game for two to three weeks. Because I now have those bait coins. So it was worth it. And the Gary Scott boat compared to the bass boat. The only thing difference is just it goes an extra few miles an hour faster. So it's not, it's not a big loss. It's not a big loss. Yeah, that I, I definitely want to play some of the the stunt races for GTA though. Like not that I've got a very good car, I've only got that one car that I I won for free the very first time I set the game up. <laughs> I've only got that one car, but I definitely want to do some stunt races. Some of them stunt races look really good. I used to really enjoy playing them as well. I haven't played it. I haven't done any of them for a long time, but. I did enjoy it. I see some interest out there. Keep getting dings on this bell, but not on this bell. Not on this bell, on this float. But it's not taking it. Come on. Okay. It's gonna go on the rod that we least expected. See this is a pretty good day's fishing as well. We got 621 pounds in our net. Got a fish on. We're at 709. We started at five. That's a serious amount of fish. Now, that is a lot. See how much that gives us. 34,000 cash. So we're in it. We're I'm very very close to 650. Very close to 650,000 cash. That is crazy. Another, another like 20,000 and then the best boat I got for free. That's crazy. That, that goes to show, so in like four hours, four hours, 30 minutes ish, I can earn, I can earn nearly about anything from, I'd say about 300,000 cash. That's pretty decent. That's. That's a lot of cash in a short time. That is a lot of cash. There's a fun mode. There's a fun mode called Hunting Pack. It's triple XP and money right now. I'll, I could check it out. You're back. How's it going, Dominic? Kind of stunt race with Batmobiles. Ah, right, we could check that out then. That sounds pretty good, man. That does sound pretty good. 
There's so much interest out there on that water. Why is my rod not going? I think we ex we uh, we exceeded ourselves for this day. Whoa, that fish got some height. <laughs> that, that really did get height. Look how much that floats moving around. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to click that. That'll disappear on its own. Don't worry about that. There is only so many pop-ups that I allow. Oh. Mm. And screen. Alright. I think we might end it there. We've been streaming for like 4 hours 30. Uh, I want to play a bit of GTA with Trippy and it is 7pm 7, 7 my time. Actually, I'm going to bring you back in for this fish. Oh, hold on. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh gosh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons now. There we go. Let me quickly bring you in for this one. I quickly, I quickly grabbed this one. And then we... I jumped to the next day as well, so we can show you how much XP. How much cash and XP we got. But yeah, I'm going to play a bit of GTA. In 55 minutes, I'm going to be posting out another video of Fishing Planet. Definitely a good video. Definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend you guys check it out. But we'll be back tomorrow, live streaming again tomorrow. I probably am going to stream a little bit later at the same time as what I did today, which was probably around about 2 or 3 p.m. UK time. It seems like that's a more more better of a time where people are around and manage to catch the stream. I try to kind of get more, more pushed in together. I'll, um... It'd probably be about at the very, very latest an hour at the very most. Just because I need to get, a, I need to put that video out and get it in. But if, put put yourself online on on Steam, man. Put yourself online so I can drop you a message as soon as you as soon as I'm done. Right, let's jump on the boat on our new boat. And let's see, uh, we we'll jump to the next day. See how much XP, how much cash we get. Next day, 36,000, 36,000 and 18,000 XP. You can't, you can't get it within that amount of time fishing the new lake. You just cannot. You really can't. Look at our new boat. Our new boat. <laughs> it looks good. So this one does, let's see how fast. I forgot how fast it goes. 46. So this one does like 46 miles an hour. Whereas if the Gary Scott, that does 52. So there's not a lot, a lot of difference in it. I can still troll, troll on this boat. It still has a fish finder there. It's still got a fish finder there. So there's not a lot. Honestly, there's not a lot of difference between this and the other boat. I feel like I... I feel like I made the right choice. At least I hope I did. <laughs> I'm gonna make something to eat. Yeah, I haven't eaten all day myself yet, man. And I did. I did get up early this morning, so I definitely need to uh, need to get some of that food going myself. You're online on Steam. All right, perfect. All right. We will be back streaming again tomorrow. I probably am gonna stream here, but as I say, the video that I'm gonna release. Um. In about 50 minutes that video I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna try a bit of that live streaming tomorrow so the live stream tomorrow is gonna to be very very different to what we have ever ever done we'll see how well it goes <laughs> we will try it tomorrow we're live stream there tomorrow and um, yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this don't forget to subscribe if you're new turn on notifications when them new updates come to fishing planet we do get those updates to you guys as fast as we possibly can. Drop a like. <laughs> we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.
Thanks for subscribing, Valid. But the stream's ended. <laughs> but thank you.